This shit gonna sound crazy, but 2020 been the longest goddamn year. It's been 2020 for about four goddamn years. <laughs> like. I don't fuck with this shit at all. What that? Man, none of the shit that happened in 2020. Yeah, this was uh, this one of them years you don't recap. You don't recap this shit, my nigga. Uh uh-uh. uh. That shit ain't go. Fuck 2020. It ain't That's gonna be exactly what you think it is. We, I'm ready to get this motherfucker on up out of here, man. 2021 mm-hmm. better show up. It been that way. You ask me. Shit, what 2021 gonna do though? Shit, oh, as you time. said, 2020. 2020. 2000 and the so year. Like a decimal. <laughs> uh-uh, it's just an and. 2000 and. 2020. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're going with. The decimal would have been 2000. It's like you counting right. in Portuguese. But yeah. you really want it in decimal because that's a whole nother <laughs> dimension. I don't even want this shit to come back ever again in life. No, so if it was like a 2000 point 20, you like, yeah, that sounds like a fucked up. Yeah, hey, right bro, now. you remember the old news show 2020? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Remember all they talked about was death and disaster. Oh, that's, that's it. That's what the show was about. 2020 on this episode of 2020. Can I get one of them shirts? What? <laughs> that's a, yeah. We in it small. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If, 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 if anything, if, if, if I'm gonna get that up out of Twitter, Twitter, I think that'd have been all right with me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there you go, cat. I want one of them shots. That's another thing about 2020. We ain't get to see none of the ladies do their thing. I'm talking about none of them. We missed sundress season. We missed pool party season. We missed day party season. <laughs> they was season. out. They was out. They was just sick. I'm just saying you had to risk it. It wasn't worth the risk this year. Damn. Nigga, yeah. you should just be able to go outside and live. That's sundress. Ooh. Seen that sundress in Let. between them booty shades. Mm, mm. Made me wanna go on and pull her out my maid. No, man. It was like left cheek. Boom, boom. Right cheek. Ooh, it was like left cheek. Boom, boom. Ooh. Right cheek. cheek. Ooh, don't bite me. Ooh, slightly. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna take it pricely. Ooh, ooh, I wanna shine brightly. Ooh, let me go. I might be. I mean, I miss when you're coming out the store. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Whip in while you parking. Mm. And she had that big old ass with the sundress look like two niggas arguing. Mm. Woo! Right behind her. Damn. Make a nigga want to hit the grinder. Mm. That's when you put your dick on the booty, then you do real circles while you grind. Hey. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I try to find her. Uh. I'm a freak looking for vagina. Uh. But I'm just looking. Yeah. Some of these hoes panties be cooking. Cooking. Yeah. You gotta watch them. Yeah. Cause they don't wash them. Uh uh-uh. uh. And you'll end up on the news telling everybody that you got it. Ooh. Ooh, that you got it. You don't want to be him. Uh-uh. No. No. Because you're going to have that bump on your lip, and we're going to see it, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. There it go. There it go. <laughs> if in the blow. If in the blow. In the blow. <laughs> if you ain't know. I ain't know. You I can ain't call know. Max on that death. <laughs> hey. Y'all. When that shit on your lip, everybody gonna peep that. Peep that, peep that. I'ma pass you the weed like, no, nah, my nigga, you can go ahead and keep that. Keep, keep that, that, keep that, keep that. Don't pass it back. You gonna smoke by yourself. By yourself, mm. by yourself. You try to smoke it on the right, but oh. the bump right there yeah, on yeah, the motherfucking left. On the left. Yeah. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. Right Stop now. It. Yeah. Right it's now. It's in the sundress, and that ass is just flopping. Flopping. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Drop it. Got it. Damn. Bitches, flop it. Ooh, miss them sundresses, man. These bitches used to wear them shit so often. Oh, yeah. Leave a nigga coughing. Coughing. When you hit it from the back. The back. Uh, bitch frying chicken in the sundress, man, and still don't know how to act. Don't, don't know, know how, how to act. act. Yeah. Damn, I missed that sundress. Sundress, y'all. Yeah. That yeah. was really my only reason. Ugh. For going outside when the sun go down, when I'm riding the old school. Old school, old school. Trying to meet some that she want to smoke. And hey, I hope she's so cool. So Ooh. cool, so cool. Kicking it old school. Yeah, yeah. Like a nigga be doing. Yeah, yeah. Man, I made a Mr. Summer. Cause yeah. all them hoes was giving up the chewing. Chewing. Ain't gonna lie, some on fine. Some be must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wake up. They don't need wash they face, they crusty. Yeah. 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 But they ain't gonna lie from the hood. I like them busted. Okay. Hey, and lay. Let me see them by your feet. Is it dusty? Hey. Oh. 
Wearing them flip flops from that dollar store. Yo, dollar store. When they got a feet done. You don't even supposed to even wear them no more. Mm-mm, yo. Because they thin. Damn. She gonna wear them bitches again. Again. Talking about, I'm just going to the store and I'm running right in. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. wait. I can't stand them. Stand them. But then again, I kind of like them. Like them. Especially when they get to arguing all the time on Facebook, talking about who want to fight them. Fight them, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> they my rags to be. Yeah. I tried to take you to church. Uh-huh. Tried to take you to a class bitch. Yeah. Oh, no. But she like, why the pastor T ask it? For money, I ain't really got no money. I'm like, bitch, you a dummy. Sit down, girl, you ain't funny. Hey, stop playing with my pastor. Fuck, I fuck around and smack you. Hey, fuck around and baptize you. Fuck around, realize you. Oh, rewrite you. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me go ahead and drop this plug. Yo. You, you got suspended from your church. Show mine some love. Hey. I'm opening one real soon for the strippers and the thugs. Yo. It don't start till 12 o'clock and you can bring your drugs. I'm coming. I'm coming. Sopranos. Hey, man, welcome back. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Turn all that off. That's Kip. That's that's Kip. We killed all that. We killed that. I was worried the whole time. I was like, I hope this shit come out. This nigga been listening to Boys and Men. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to see. This is, this is a farewell uh, episode. Hit that note, boy. Farewell, farewell to, 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 to the year. Farewell to 2020. Okay. 2020, man. Listen, if I was on my young nigga shit, I would do some young nigga shit. Fuck 2020. Man. Right. But you on, we, we on some whole other shit. Oh, yeah, we on some So we got to do So 2021, it just sounds futuristic. So shit got to be. 2020 is going to be one of them years when you 60, you going to be like, man, you remember we made it through 2020. You know everybody died. 2020. Yeah, 2020 was fucked up. A little bit of everybody, a little bit of some of the everybody that got the fuck on in 2020. Somebody you don't even know. Oh, motherfucker scared that like me. What? They're gonna hit me, tell my man Joe Clark that. I said, nigga, not Morgan Freeman. They were yeah. like, no, nigga, the real Joe Clark. I'm like, oh, I don't know him. I don't know him. <laughs> don't, don't fucking play him. like that, bro. I know the story was Morgan inspired. Morgan Morgan Freeman. Freeman. We thought he had been old, dead. Long time. We thought he had been dead. Morgan now. Freeman been old. Boy, Since he came out. Time. Nigga but came it was a movie old. in 1952. Morgan Freeman was in that movie. <laughs> and nigga was still old. I yeah. said, God damn, You didn't see man. the picture they of Morgan Freeman head. in <laughs> elementary school? <laughs> that nigga looked like the PE teacher when he was in elementary school. Hello, my that name is, is Morgan. Crazy. I'm new here. <laughs> I go to the school. I'm seven years old. I, <laughs> I like to make cookies with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> From that day forward, like this. all we did and was make I like make to make cookies, cookies with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga been old for a long time. This nigga old as shit. Damn. What wrong with you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> oh. We yeah, already talking about how we don't so like much. 20. Look, he, he got, got me reached. I'm like, man, what the hell wrong with you, man? Hey, man. Hope you ain't no suicide bubble. You all right? Ryan got his legs done. Morgan Freeman <laughs> was born in 1937. <laughs> Who? Morgan Freeman was born in 1937. Well, my daddy was born in 1931, bro. Damn. So, yeah, he been old since I was a jit. But if my daddy had me, he was 61. Morgan Freeman was like, wait, 53. He was 54, 54 then. Damn. Thugging. Half a century. Old ass nigga. That's fucking mm. crazy. <laughs> That's hey, you really a legend to be Nigga, a- in 1931, right. the motherfucking tires had wood in them. <laughs> tires had wood in them? <laughs> Nigga, you had a wagon wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was on the Oregon Trail. Damn. <laughs> Nigga, peppermint was the best candy out. <laughs> it was new. <laughs> peppermint was new? <laughs> well, peppermint was the best candy out. <laughs> peppermint hey, man, had the game on lock. Peppermint, man. <laughs> What about it the Care Bear the Gold Guy? It was just peppermint and oh, lemon drop. Niggas get robbed for them. Niggas get robbed for them. For the Gold Guy, them Care Bear. <laughs> Give me your Care Bear candy, man. Ain't nothing but three of Black people ate chocolate two times a year Christmas and birthday. <laughs> birthday. Crazy. One family, one bar. Time has passed. When Niggas wearing birthday, suits for real back then because you want to look like something. Now you can't even find a suit. It wasn't even That's no other back. clothes. It wasn't, it wasn't no clothes. Even. It wasn't nothing but suits. <laughs> it wasn't no niggas then. Where you gonna wear my nigga? It was on the colored people and Negroes. <laughs> Negroes, colored people, and uh, whatever else they came up with to call us. Mulattoes and yeah. motherfuckers be Creole. I wish I would have been here with the jive turkey stage. 
I would I would slap yeah. a nigga and bring my hand back. <laughs> Pop, let me tell you something, nigga. Now I don't wanna hit you again. Nigga, I hit you again. Yeah. Come here, I'll hit you again. Nigga, I'll hit you again. Give me my knife. Give me my knife. Hey, that's when fights <laughs> used to be like this. You heard what DC did? <laughs> He slapped Fred down at the pool hall. Slapped no, him three did. times before he hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but our fight stories ain't never going to be like our daddy and our uncle. Man, your brother had to, my brother had to come down there and stop me from killing that nigga, man. <laughs> I had my pistol right there in my motherfucking pocket, man. I sat right there for an hour and a half waiting on this. I was going to kill that man. He look at my gun jam. You got to ask old people about the old story. I ain't, you, you don't know how gangster your people is unless they tell you. Like, I ain't know I had really gangsters in my family, bro. You got to ask them. You got to talk to the ancestors. Ask them about the to. people before that ain't yes. here no more. And you be like, oh, this shit add up. My uncle everybody shot, got, my uncle shot at the bouncer when he was young, bro. Yeah, everybody got that one infamous ass family member oh, 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 that's oh, been dead oh, way before you was born. Like just a random uncle that only your grandma knew. Yeah, that's our big brother. <laughs> he was grown when we was born. <laughs> Mama had him when she was 13. <laughs> they raised each what other. What happened to him? <laughs> he had to move to Indiana. <laughs> Yeah, he was, he, he was in love way. with a white woman. So. Yeah, he had to go. He, they, so he, yeah, he had to go. Yeah, he. Because that wasn't the rule back then. Him and that white lady stayed together 30 something years. They yeah. packed him up in the middle of the Come night. On, man. You gotta go to, to me and But my uncle really did have to leave. My uncle really did have to leave Mississippi go. in the middle of the night, though. Who? My uncle really did. It was what, a lot of niggas had to leave in the middle of the night. What happened? Man, he's a white man. A white man spit on him. And he fucking, he cut his face up and shit oh, real shit. bad. Ooh, had to go. Yeah, they he sent him off. He got shipped off in a crate. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, the hider. He got the fuck on. Oh, your, your, your folk, he yeah. got the fuck on. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He never <laughs> came back for real. He can't. Nigga said he got shipped off in a crate. <laughs> this nigga down there. He one of them things, what them, what them big ass things that be carrying on train? What them tr- it was a trunk. Like the track, like a, you know them big ass. The niggas was in a refrigerator yeah, box. Side. Niggas in one of them all them auction wars. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna lift that bitch up up your hole. You gonna be your uncle? Oh shit, we gotta go. I, I, I might be tripping, but it's a nigga in this box. <laughs> <laughs> Just think the motherfucker oh, loading man. up the shit on the train though, like, oh, the old nigga in a box trick, huh? <laughs> Get out of there, nigga. <laughs> we know you're in that box. <laughs> they just talking to the package. Well, hope you know it's gonna be cold as fuck back here. <laughs> We're just gonna start beating all these boxes with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay, you better get back in your box before this train leaves. <laughs> Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, fucking crazy. Hurt, bro. Hey, man, can you imagine bad. being on a date back then? You out with a motherfucker? You be like, man, I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck she on. I done spent $2 trying to fuck with her, man. Take this bitch home. That's four months of work. I bought her a hamburger, some fries, a, a milkshake. milkshake. What? <laughs> <laughs> For $2? She hungry? That shit? She hungry again. We ain't even gonna make it up to Harlem to the dance, please. <laughs> they want the 50 cent a piece to get in there. 50 cent a piece. Boy, shit was real. That's a bitch shit was real back me. then, boy. <laughs> I ain't no $5 ass nigga. I ain't I ain't no, no, who, who do I look like? I'm, I, I don't live uptown. <laughs> Where you live? Downtown. <laughs> I live on the east side. <laughs> That's that that bitch, we done spent $2, rent $4 a month. <laughs> I'm not finna spend rent fucking with her. Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we need them two dollars. But time, a suit you know, costs a, four dollars. A five would take a motherfucker, a dub would take a motherfucker so three months. There. You take that 20 and you so tell far. your mama I said I'd be back. Hey man, I actually remember right, right before God the money damn. got fucked up. I remember when I was in like my junior years, Maybe my sophomore, junior year of high school, man, twenty dollars was was a goddamn went a long ass way. What? Yes, it did. What? Twenty dollars. I know baby. when I t-shirts know started costing twenty dollars. I was like, what the hell going on? Listen, when jeans were twenty two dollars, I was like, yeah, my dad ain't buying these. <laughs> I'm just going to walk out with some leaves around this motherfucker. <laughs> Won't nobody say it, right. but <laughs> but <laughs> cash money. When Cash Money Records came out, balling hard in the motherfucker, it fucked the whole economy of the hood up. That fucked everybody up. We all started doing extra ass balling, 
and we fucked up. Did we? Yes. Was it that? I don't yeah, think it was down. Nigga, you we can't blame nigga, them. we will never get two for 89 soldier read. Soldier Reebok? Never. You don't think so? Never. Oh, well, I mean, Nelly Not Rose. unless Master yeah. P and Baron Davis buy the shit. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Speaking of which, <laughs> why the fuck did you cheat your bitch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that nigga crazy yeah. ever doing that shit. That shit was hilarious, man. Shout out to them. I hope the shit come through. I, I, I heard Shaq trying to buy it, too. Why don't they just go in together? Man, Shaq need to sit his ass down, Why they got to go against a motherfucker? I ain't heard Shaq nothing. made his shoe look just like F01. With him dunking on the side like that. I don't know about it. I fuck with Shaq, man. He made he, him for Walmart. You know what? His price went <laughs> down and down. When they first went to Walmart, they were 50. Then they went to 45. He said 45. He, wa- he said he, he said, wanted to make, 15. He said he wanted to make his shoes available to Give everybody away. who wanted them. <laughs> Let's have a free That's what he said. No, you're right. He said he wanted to make his shoes available to everybody who wanted them. I think he talking to the Grinch on Christmas. Free shoes for everyone. <laughs> hey, Shaq, man, these bitches slippery. <laughs> you imagine trying to hoop in some Shaq? Man. Bro, I did. He want everybody to have access, though, like a you nigga, said. A nigga, a nigga, I want some Shaqs to the court. A nigga dunked on me. I said, you know what? I'm going to take these bitches off. If a nigga dunk on you with some Shaqs on, that nigga going to the league. He going. <laughs> he, got, oh, he already in the league. This one. nigga is overcoming adversity. <laughs> he got natural <laughs> athleticism. No, I fuck with Shaq. How you take them. over demo? <laughs> he's barely. Ba- he's, I, keep, I keep sliding out of bounds. Yeah, he basically first barefoot. Off, first though, it's your shoes. <laughs> you got to take them off. You ain't gonna be able to guard nobody in them off. <laughs> Referee gonna hit him with three travels in oh, a row. But man, man, these it's the shit. <laughs> Every time you stop, you still slide. This nigga cruise to a lay. He's trying to argue with the whip. Look, you're traveling right now, actually. <laughs> stop moving. Just stop moving. <laughs> he steady slap. <laughs> nah, Shaq, we fuck with your shoes, man. You, man, you, you gave a look. lot of people uh, hope. Yeah. Shaq gonna hit this shit and slap the shit out of everybody. Oh, slap. man. Go ahead. He gonna laugh about it. He gonna be like, DC, let me tell you something. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Motherfuckers are funny. I don't know about y'all. Talk about my shoes. Fuck you. Hey, man, I fuck with Shaq, too, but Shaq gonna stop all this goddamn lying. <laughs> Shaq, he gonna try to make a goddamn sign up for goddamn general. Don't nobody want that insurance. That's what I'm saying. He gotta quit that fucking lying. Stop telling stuff, Shaq. Don't nobody want no powder? He want Icy Hot. Don't high. nobody want no powder. Don't nobody want no powder. Don't nobody want no <laughs> What's that shit? Like? We don't want that shit. Look, we don't want no big pizzas. This we don't nigga, want no big pizzas. This nigga dog. trying to convince us that he got a motherfucking Buick and the that, insurance that, you can fit in. that he get. He, yes, you ain't and his no insurance is the general. So Shaq driving around in a Buick with a cartoon white with, man with the general insurance on call, it. Call to the general and say something. <laughs> tell him, Shaq. Tell him. Tell him who, who, who got all your cars. Me, motherfucker. Come on. Get in my jeep. Hey, get in my shit. <laughs> Think of all this commercials. So he got a Buick oh. that's covered by the goddamn general. general. <laughs> Eating Papa John's with an icy hot patch on his back. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> you know what I call? You know what I call when I'm in a car accident? Hey, call a lot of general. Hey, sometimes. A lot of people got some know. crazy ass commercials. You seen the Deion Sanders commercial? He went all state. You seen the Deion Sanders commercial, the Subway commercial? This nigga just run by and steal a pizza from a white man. (laughs) That was some gangster shit, though. That was some gangster shit. Run off. This nigga just got arrested. That was some gangster shit. That was was real (laughs) prime time. (laughs) The white dude. Did I just get intercepted by prime? (laughs) Wait for the pizza. Damn sure did. He kept running, too. He didn't even look back. (laughs) They're like, damn, prime, you hungry as fuck, ain't you? (laughs) Nigga, they feed at the football game? (laughs) That nigga will come smash that plaque we tried to give him. <laughs> that plaque. That's exactly how he that's gonna that's run black back and grab love. that bitch. And throw it. <laughs> Who? Fabo with the crystal. Crystal. Fabo ended up getting the crystal commercial. He got two of them. He ended up doing it. Oh, that was up. I thought yeah, he, he would. Where, where he at? Hey, man. Dude. That was up. Hey. Yeah. Stop $2. That nigga said, ah! He did. That shit started. Then the nigga go in his mouth. And he in his mouth, and he tell you about the country fast state. You gotta see the commercial. Oh, that's what's up. Oh man, they ain't they, they put it on they regular cable on the west side, cause we ain't seen it yet. That fuck up. Some shit. They got to show it to where his demographic is. If yet. Crystal's is show really it. on that shit, they'll let Fabo make the next Crystal's theme song. What'd you say? 
they need to let Fabo make the next Crystals theme song. What's the first? What's the, what's the first one? Did they ever have a Crystal theme song? That's what I said. Song? What's the first one? They need to put him on one. Yeah, cause there ain't no first. Crystal. Let him make the Crystals theme song. Hey man, Crystals. Come are, get you they crystals. about to put the Crystals on oh, bank. Yeah. <laughs> They already did that though. Shit, shut that down. shit go. That bitch is chuckles. Hey man, shit. Chuck is the only thing that can survive. Chuck is the only thing that can survive. I hood. can't sleep. It's a Christmas right down the street. Yeah. And I'm gonna get a bunch of free food. Uh -huh. Cause they all down there know me. Uh -huh. Want something to eat. Yeah. I can't sleep. Yeah. And I I'm just geek. Yeah. Hey, give me a number three. Yeah. With some fries with that chili cheese. Yeah. And give me something to drink, please. Yeah. I need fries. That's I it right now. Yeah, that's yeah, the one. Gonna go great. Right now. It's going. You gotta that's be a nigga in the bed like smoking pearls. <laughs> Like, why, motherfucker? Why? <laughs> why? That nigga just go in there and order a bunch of food and they're like, Fable, what you want? Some water! <laughs> well, that's gonna be two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's the commercial, right? There. <laughs> that is hilarious. He bro. needed two dollar combos. Real talk. Yeah. That bitch come with a crystal chick and a puck and a water. Man, shit, if Travis Scott they had that it. shit, hell yeah. And that's how you order it. You pull but up then, and you say, he stop two dollars. Stop, Fabo, and they know what to give you. You For just real? pull up and get it. So you just get pull up and they just, what you want? Stop, two dollars. <laughs> Stop, Fabo, and you just All right, pull up. that'll be two dollars, sir. Two dollars. <laughs> Let me get the two dollar, two dollar combo. <laughs> the what? Not, is the, it the two for two? No, it's, it's the, the two dollar, two dollar two combo. combo. <laughs> the two who? The two dollar, two dollar combo. We ain't got that one. We got no, the it's, other a, one. it's the two dollar combo for two dollars. Uh uh, that's from McDonald's. You had the. Uh, no, nah, the dude who they named the combo after the name two dollars. Yeah, that's called Stop Fabo. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. let me let me get the Stop Fabo. It's two dollars, right? Right. That's okay, one. Uh -huh. Let me get two of them. Okay. Do you want the Barbara? <laughs> Y'all want the Barbara? Yeah, put the barber in there. All right, you want two barbers? Because that's going to be, it's, 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 it's out two here. more dollars, ain't it? Yeah, two more dollars. You're going to put it in there. All right, man. Let him off. That'd be it. hilarious. Hey, man, bro. BC, you, don't, you ain't been paying attention, man, but ever that's since it. we did that promo for the Hawks, they've been winning like a month. Most definitely. That was some real shit. But we the South. Come on, man. They we the South. It. They take that over there. We the South. It. They need it. We the South. We Shout out to the boys, it. man. Them motherfuckers been hooping. Y'all had to energize them. A lot they, of times, they just need the, motivation. the Hawks ain't mm -hmm. no people fuck with them. Like, we, we fuck, fuck with, with y'all, but when y'all start losing, we don't, we don't look at y'all. No, we, they, they know, <laughs> but, they know but, we fuck with them. We just sometimes don't know who on the team. And you know what's crazy? Right, the team, you know. But no. we know we know who's supposed to be there. The Hawks catch the hate <laughs> that the Falcons <laughs> supposed to get. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, they do win more over. than the Falcons. You said that, hello, run that back again? The Hawks catch the hate that the Falcons supposed to get. Mm -hmm. Falcons get their ass towed up every Sunday. And the next Sunday, we wake up energized to try to fuck with them again and they do the same but shit. But you know what? But you know what? I think we cuss the Falcons out more than we do the Hawks. We do. the Hawks will lose by but pitch. By the time like, they get to the next game, that. Going, hey. by the time they get to the next game, they already forgive it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We wake we, we every, forgive too quick. Every Sunday we give them a whole new chance. But they got me. The season short. Maybe these niggas from That's out of town. Not me. Yeah, I remember last week. I remember the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, don't, yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Don't no, do that. No, I remember don't, 283. Don't, come on. Come on. Shit, first time I ever cried about a game. Boy, come on, dog. You cried? Come on, man. Tell the truth. in my car by on, myself. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> nigga walked past me. I, I said, he was happy here. I was like, fuck you fucking smiling about it, bitch. Set the stage. That nigga, that nigga just walked by and tripped. He's like, the hell wrong? My bad, bro. I apologize. Tripping, bro. I'm tripping. I'm just cussing random people out. How long you cried for? How you walked nah, out? Nah, when he walked by, I had to get myself together. Uh, how, how you me? walked out, though? Like, but nigga was in the house laughing at me, bro. Cause I was talking mad shit. I'm talking about. Oh, so they, it, it, they you saw, wasn't in a friendly environment. No. And when they saw that the game just switched like that, the niggas was just looking at me, and I was just like, everything all right? I don't know why y'all looking at me like that. And they everybody want to look at me. Hey, bro. Mm. It was just trickling on down. And everything I was, was not all right. Caving into the couch. I was just getting deeper into the couch. And they just kept. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> they don't want to be there. You no. I won't be there. I walked outside. You got to. I walked outside realizing that we lost the fucking Super Bowl. And I was swung was on the up, white man. When we was up. When we was up. When we was up 28-3. I was yelling at the. I went to three houses that day watching the Super Bowl game. <clears throat> the first house, I chumped them all the way off. I'm cussing them all the way out. Bitch, fuck everybody. <laughs> Second house, 
Fuck y'all too by that third house. I was apologizing. <laughs> I, I want to say I'm sorry. I want to say I'm, I, I really do want to send my condolences to everybody I just been disobedient to. <laughs> Cause these niggas, they, they some sorry motherfuckers, man. Oh man. Fuck that. Man. I don't see how they blew it. <laughs> Nah, no, I know how they blew it, but, but it's she, I ain't gonna don't, say don't that. Do that. That whole situation just, just is like, that's what 2020 been like. Yep. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Ooh. Just like now. Now they're trying to send out a $600 stimulus. Don't nobody want that. And they sending it. No, they giving it to you. Y'all shouldn't have said nothing about two. They y'all shouldn't have said nothing about the two. Don't say nothing about the two if you're going to give us the six. Nigga, they sent it already. Some people Bro, got you? it in their in they account already. Nigga. How the fuck you going to cut the check in half? You got at least in the 1200 that you said last time. <clears throat> that fucked up. You can't cut it down. You know what that equal to? What? 135 a day. Sure live. <clears throat> Motherfucker is getting paid a dollar and 35 cents a day to feed a nigga in America. <laughs> Easily. That's fucked up. That's what they're going to give us. You only work for a dollar 35 cents, little bitch. And you out here asking for that $600 like you ain't got shit. I don't. Then when you go, when you get it, what you gonna do? Mm. I'm gonna it's spend gone. It. You split it. I'm gonna spend Look, it. You did it. <laughs> I'm gonna spend it. For what? On life. Like the, what? We ain't living right. We ain't got no paper towel. Yeah. We ain't even got this issue. Dang. We got no groceries in this bitch, and that's the real issue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ain't no water. Okay. I can dig that. Ain't no eggs. Ooh, I understand damn. that. I might go next door and beg. Ooh, damn. I ain't been to work because mm. I'm non-essential. Ooh. $600. Right. That's non-essential. Ooh. <laughs> that's looses. Ain't gonna lie. That sound like excuses. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you ever heard of food stamps? Uh, <laughs> that'll kill the food. Uh, that'll kill the mood. But look, let me bounce with that six hundred dollars, nigga. I'ma get a ounce. Ounce, flip it, flip it, drip it, drip it, bring it back, dig it, dig it. Go ahead, let my nigga know. Look, I got a quarter pound. Dig it. Dig it. Now, we don't need that stimulus check, because I'm going to go ahead and break the neck, because I'm going to get my respect. I ain't begging no nigga for shit, because I'm going to go ahead and get it. You dig? You dig? Ooh. My mama raised a hustler. OK. Uh, no customer. Ooh. But I'm going to tell you right now, I got that pistol for all you busters. Uh, listen, and you clusters. <laughs> I like seafood. No mustard. Hey. <laughs> One time for my big girls, uh, your elbows, they buster. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. No D. When I had food there, why I had food on the table like ye? Yeah. <laughs> I told my nephew get the chips. I told my mama get the dip. And they ain't gonna lie. I told my girlfriend going upstairs with the whip. Ooh. Ooh. Look, you like that with your freak ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then get down, woke up, you like, hey. <laughs> what you tell her then? What you tell her next? What you tell her after that? Hey, what you tell her after that? That sounds like me right now. She <laughs> <So you> said, hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> but see, that's one thing that we did do this year, though, man. What? We turned it up in the trap. Mo did. Yeah, we turned this bitch all the way up. Hey, man. Hey man, the uh, only places to come. BET Award. Hell yeah. yeah. Producer took, credit, writer credit. But we, 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 we took mm-hmm. the whole trap to the BET Award. Ted, we brought him here. That's what I'm you saying. Did. We did. did that part. Found out I'm Jamaican. Why go on? Bullet, bullet. Yeah, you've been a whole rude boy since yeah. you got dig on that. You ain't stopped with it. You ain't stopped with it once you stand for something. Hey, you dig what I'm saying? It they made had to sense. push you off the cliff. It made sense. It did. All the loose leg, all the hard working and shit. I said, that's a Jamaican. You a Jamaican? <laughs> mm-hmm. And all that. Ever since I stepped in the Caribbean, I feel like I was at home. I just had to find out where I was. I saw want. the Jamaicans in your comments going crazy. Yes, sir. Bullet, bullet. Why go on? I'm going to learn more. Did okay. you see a motherfucker that looked like <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get it into my everyday vocabulary. <laughs> they like, where you from, bro? And I'm like, not quite, right quick, Hold not on. quite. Yeah. Just slow down, bro. You gotta take my time. <laughs> I did my shit too. I did my shit too. You did that shit? It was quick. It was quick. Yeah, damn. That shit just came back. What he say? That shit said, I am 183% nigga. That's it. That's all the paper said. You sure you ain't say Nigeria? It's nigga. It's nigga. N-I-G-G-A. 
Cut. Couldn't even tell you where you from. Paper was white, ink was black. <laughs> where you get this test from? I'm telling you. <laughs> same, same way. Uh-uh. Mine was 23 and me. That's what I went on. That who you went on? Nigga. That's how it is. I had a little spot right over my hometown. What was one? Mississippi, Oxford. Right That's there. where you from, really? This nigga from Mississippi. That's us, ain't it? Uh -uh. Oh, okay, bitch. Trying to make sure, because it's crazy 2020. out here. 2020, man, been a crazy year, man. Too you crazy. survived 2020, man, you blessed. Hell yeah. That's all man. it is, man. If you get in 2021, you blessed, man. Leave yeah. everything in 2020. Drop that shit in 2020. All depths, everything. I ain't asking what's your resolution for 2021, but like, what's some shit you know for a fact you're going to do? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, as long as the world be open and it go back to normal, I'm going to go crazy. Even if it don't go back to normal. I'm gonna still go crazy. But the new normal ain't even gonna be the old normal. It's gonna, the, the shit that's, that's changing gonna be the new normal. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, I just know I'm, 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 I'm gonna go real big on my resources. Fuck all that knowing people. Who really fuck with you? You feel what I'm saying? Cause I feel like if you Who need, fuck if, with you? If you need me, I'm coming through and I'm gonna come through 110%. Hard. Mm. If, if I need you, I need you to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's how we can start. Just like with this foundation right here. We use our resources, you feel me? And guess what? Everybody in here individually got multiple resources, and then we all put them on the table. It don't stop them. Mm. You feel me? That's a I know a lot of motherfuckers, bro. That's and I'm tired of knowing motherfuckers. That's a hell of a plan. You, you feel me? Man, this shit got me going crazy, man. I'm, this is the longest I done ever went without like telling no jokes or doing no show. Sitting at the house all day, man, with these kids. Trying to help them with the schoolwork. Everything in the world falling. I don't know what to do. I All I know how to do is talk shit. I talk shit when it's raining, when it's snowing outside in a blizzard. Whenever it's going on, I'm going to talk my shit. And for me not to be able to do that, it's got me... You know, I'm going crazy a little bit. So I can't take it no more. So you know what I did? I, I had me a show. Yeah, a safe one. A social distance show. Nobody even got out the car. Yeah, and I'm putting it out. I'm putting it out. Because if I would have been outside, I would have put something out by now. This is not no comedy special. This is just some special comedy. This is some comedy that I did in the middle of the pandemic. And I want you to see it because I know you would have came if you would have been able to. So we putting it out. Independent. Ain't no middleman. It's straight me. It's just buy it from me. It's direct to consumer. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no Netflix special. It ain't no HBO, it ain't no Showtime. It, it's 85 South Media. Support it, watch it. Smoke something to it, man. man. I'm just, you know, shit, by any means. We gonna get it done by any means. Whatever going on, as long as I'm alive, we gonna do some comedy some kind of way. So make sure you watch this. You, Mr. Director Man, you fuck with me for real, right? Okay, let's see this. I gotta move. You wanna go on and jump? The, 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 the. <coughs> Fuck all that people we gotta talk to. You need a production? Right. You know production? Right. How much you call? I've right. been working. I ain't, I ain't that little. I'm not an influencer. Right. Mm -mm. I'm, a, I'm an entertainer. There we go. You feel me? So, whatever they gonna cut the check, let go on and do what I said and let do it. You feel me? What we waiting on? I ain't finna ask no nigga. I ain't asking now, nigga. I ain't asking now, nigga. Cause 2021, I don't feel like shit. So many niggas gonna be on the vaccine, nigga. You better hurry the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, all these prescription drugs these niggas taking, they still need the vaccine. They said these the vaccine didn't even work. They said nigga. a nigga caught the virus nine days after he took the vaccine. He ain't take it right. <laughs> no, it's in him. <laughs> That's what they gonna say. He ain't take it right. He ain't take it right. They gotta stab him again. Oh, he ain't take it right. Is it the left shoulder or the right shoulder? <laughs> Who stuck him? Was it the urgent care? Him? That nigga stuck himself. <laughs> now that they did, you know, hit the wrong vein. Hey man, uh, you know, this shit new, so it might not work on everybody. What's your grandma's name? Well, oh, it only work on S's and W's. They gonna find a reason why it's your fault. Hey man, you been having unprotected sex? <laughs> you been fucking wrong? You been fucking it. <laughs> yeah. Don't lie to us, we got your chest. Yeah. You're not supposed to fuck not, before you you're get not the vaccine. Supposed to fuck. Not raw. Not, not what you know. Not raw. Oh, oh man. Not raw. <laughs> they gonna be coming in the room asking uncomfortable questions. They gonna be, oh, you got, you got a sad bitch, don't you? <laughs> 
You got your paperwork, right? Yeah, I got your paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. <laughs> yeah that ain't probably ain't gonna work. Damn. That fucked up. Everything. Kamala took it. Huh? How vice president took it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk Somebody about her. Somebody call her. Basically, I don't call want to talk her. about her. She I ain't seen her since. But you know who I drunk. do want to talk about? She been drunk since she took it. <laughs> I ain't seen no Hi. tweet. Hi. I ain't seen no tweet, no nothing. Hi. We did it, Joe. I did it. I did it. I'm sorry. We just, they right, shot we, me, Joe. We hope you good. It's <laughs> in my arm right man. now, Joe. I did it. Huh? 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 I said I did it. Am I on television now? <laughs> I did it, America. I did it. Stop, let them get in there. Somebody <laughs> call the ambulance. <laughs> Cause I did it. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Uh, Somebody call, it, call, call, call Kamala, man. Call her. I ain't seen no tweet. I seen that last you know video of her taking that shit. The one person I hate the most in 2020. Who? Mitch McConnell. Oh, she good. Oh, man. The dark skin bitch. No, that's that little. The fuck? That little. Who? The old white man. Oh, I was talking about the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the bitch who got I fucked up with the about. wig, man. What the old lady, man? The old lady with the wig, man, who fucked up this year, man. With the mold. This nigga here, bruh. I think she like a, uh, <laughs> that let you know I don't pay attention to none of this shit. You hear me? But you Listen. just, your response was so rent. The dark skin, <laughs> no. You no. wasn't even close. No. This is an old <laughs> white man. That got a turtle face. <laughs> oh, you talking about the nigga, uh, <laughs> this nigga chin in, in his throat. Right, I know you're talking about. I seen him. I that nigga him. got the Louis bag under the his senator, lip. The senator, the one to be like, yeah, that nigga right there. All right, yeah. Uh, but that I'm nigga, talking that about that the other bitch. Birkin. That nigga got a Birkin. The Birkin other turkey. bitch who, uh, who interviewed Arcade. That nigga tried to put a Band-Aid on his hand and didn't have enough skin to hold the Band-Aid on. <laughs> who? Gail. I'm talking about Gail. Remember Gail fucked up this year, man? No, she didn't. She was the victim. She what? Oh, she called her a dog head bitch. Oh, yeah. oh, remember she said some old sideways shit Damn on it. some other shit. She did the, the she did the R. Kelly interview. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm saying, but she did some old other shit. Like she but took R. Kelly up after somebody. That shit is damn she took up after somebody and they was on her ass. They not a Kobe shit. She did something, she did something, she said something. She brought the rape shit up. Right. She said some slick shit. Yeah, I, I think I told passed. Right. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew her. I knew the yeah, wig lady was up to But see, that's why I right. said they tried to cover it up and make her look like the victim. Oh, okay. He called a funky the dog, dog head, head bitch. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> called a whole funky. That's somebody's grandma. I ain't gonna do it like <laughs> But he did call a funky dog head bitch. <laughs> I think the ladies at up church have said worse about him. Here come this old stanky <laughs> bulldog of skate. <laughs> Jezebel. You know they curse hard in hell. This old <laughs> schemes. <laughs> they like that. <laughs> they like, she meant that shit. Whoa. That shit was like a sound wave got there. <laughs> Excuse me. Is everybody a screamer? Or is it talking to you? <laughs> Oh my goodness. But he done made me choke on this goddamn weed. <laughs> what? Old people. You know the moment where bro. you feel where the weed ain't supposed to be where it is. They, they, oh, right it ain't there. supposed to be right now. That shit make yeah, a detour. Yeah. That yeah, shit. 2020, we had to leave a lot of shit, man. They talking about, uh, they say, they say all right, got beat up in jail or some shit. Nigga swung For on. For what? They saw nigga, nigga seen him. I'm like, man, nigga <laughs> swung on Kale, man. You know, you know why the fight started. Ain't he in there with Bill Cosby? They're not in the same not. place, are they? He they tried to put him and Bill in the cell. He like, man, I don't want that motherfucker in here, man. I Rudy, <laughs> he tried to fuck Rudy. Rudy, <laughs> I don't want you. I told him to put the towel. Now the nigga kept asking R. Kelly to sing Your Body's Calling and he wouldn't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what happened? <laughs> nah, but it sounds like good. Yeah. It ass. do sound like that's just hilarious. sing it, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, just sing it. Sing that shit. <laughs> sing that shit you sang out there. Nigga, you sang it, didn't you? <laughs> you sang it, so sing it. Sing that shit, kid. You gotta kid. vote again. 
Time to vote again. You gotta vote again. I thought we already did that. It's a runoff. Man, you know they did. That was a runoff. So, the, so the time we vote didn't count. Yeah, didn't count. but they gotta do again. You gotta go for the other. You know. They no, gotta, I they did them. I voted back. for them on the on the presidential shit. You gotta, you gotta come back. Again. Why? Run off. So my it's shit ain't count that time. Yeah, it was some other shit. But nah, they just like one not like I already voted for one not already like. Are you straight then? So who the fuck is they running up again? No, him. Him. Oh, it's for niggas who didn't vote already. No, yeah. no, it's not. It's again. They got to run again. It was too close to call. Yeah. So nigga got to run again. What do you mean it was too close to call? All they got to do is count the fucking votes. I mean, no, nah, it was too close. It's got to be a big enough margin. They got to. And the other dude didn't either, so they got to so go So what again. they got? Why they just want to go like with the nigga 30, who got the close? 30, 20, 20. Well, go with the nigga who got 30. But there was a third person, so that took from some of them. So now. <laughs> so it was another nigga who just snuck in and yeah. like, hey, I think I do that shit over. <laughs> and 7% of people vote. I don't know how many, but just enough Damn. people voted for that nigga. So, so now they got to do it with just them two. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, I explained it good. Well, I'm not better come out I, with another goddamn did. commercial. Hey, that's what motherfuckers <laughs> sleep on. You know what the fuck be going on in the world. Even if I don't, you make it sound like you I do. figure that shit out. Yeah. You be ringing, but you ain't bullshit. Damn, what not? Shout out to Raphael. Shout out to Ralph. What up, Ralph? Mm -hmm. Big nose ass. I'm Boy, them, ass. damn, these. You. I'm a both on, goddamn. Them you commercials going crazy. You seen the commercials? Yeah. They had his wife. They oh, had, no, I ain't see that one. They done had his dog on there. He tried to have a dog on his commercial. Then they put a dog. Why, yeah, Warnock doesn't care about dogs. <laughs> I was like, oh, they don't give a fuck no more. They just saying all type of shit. Dog. After he had the dog in the commercial. Man, he had his dog in the commercial walking in. Then they had dogs. They was typing. They was typing this shit. The dog was like, Bro. I was like, nigga, this shit crazy. We'll come up with anything. That he let us do a commercial for you. Would y'all run for office? I would. Y'all I wouldn't. You could, I would. You could handle all the slander, like like the, the shit they would pull up on you. I'd be like the real yeah. nigga. It's not like bad by politics terms. It I don't is. What you mean like, what you mean like when they, when they pull up? The worst shit they could pull up on us ain't finna be the worst shit you could pull up on a politician, I feel like. You feel me? Yeah, they can. Politicians don't have no rules no more. They'll right. find the ugliest person you fucked and be like, can you really trust DC? <laughs> 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 they just, and they zoom in. They zoom in on their face. <laughs> <laughs> Politician dirty man. <laughs> Does this look like the face of somebody that you would trust with your children's future? <laughs> and they zoom in. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> That's fucked up. This nigga would be diabolical, uh, nigga. That is hilarious. He's talking about they gonna get the ugly bitch. You need them on the do you really can trust this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> they will, bro. They low down. <laughs> that is hilarious. They low down is fucking oh, politics, shit. man. Oh, that is funny, bro. They'll find you every really bad thing you, you can trust this young <laughs> Do you really want to vote for somebody who skipped most uh, of ninth grade? <laughs> Damn. That is hilarious, bro. You want to know who you're really <laughs> voting for? <laughs> Ask him when the last time he bought a car. <laughs> I'm the nigga he's running against, and I approve this man. That's how they really throw shade on your ass at the end. That's the pettiness right there. Let a nigga know I stepped that shit. I, oh, yeah. I told him to say that shit. Y'all say that shit. It was me, and I approved that motherfucker. Yeah, now let me see right, what you got. Right. That's all they be saying. Now you up now. You up? Your turn. Shut up. They be up there like, dig, motherfucker, dig. They gonna be in there. They gonna get find this motherfucker some shit. tomorrow. All the shit you thought you hit. Get the Did you know get the Carlos Miller had a side baby that was born in 2009? The baby gonna be over there looking crazy. He only pays 238 a month in child support. Baby gonna be like, I ain't never seen my daddy. Exactly. I just wanna see my dad. No, I, I heard my dad is running for office. Daddy. <laughs> they pull up, pull up at your side, baby mama house, little section eight. <laughs> she just standing in the door holding the baby. The baby dirty. It they don't even say shit. It's just slow motion and it just pans up. Carlos Miller only pays <laughs> two thirty-eight in child support a month. <laughs> Got snot running out the baby nose. The baby look like Roscoe. Get your ass off. Did you know his side baby mama works day shift oh, at Wendy's? Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm the nigga he's running against, and I approve this mess. <laughs> and I approve this bitch. They'll pull you out anything, boy. 
Clayton English uses an inhaler from time to time. <laughs> but what can't in catch it? his breath. How can he run for Congress? <laughs> hey, and look, nigga, wheezy, taking an inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Some petty shit. Is stupid, bro. You could have been up 24 hours and fall asleep in your office. On he the can't couch. Stay awake. <laughs> Is this who you want in your public office? Somebody who's going to be sleeping on your tax dollars on your time? Not in the state of Georgia. Who you here? Who you here? I'm the nigga who's running against. I'm the nigga he's running against. Not <laughs> he's talking about I'm the nigga he's running against. Uh, I'm the shit. nigga he's running oh against. Oh my God, I got it. I've been with my wife for 38 years. <laughs> ask him how long he's been with his wife. Which wife, you ask? His fourth one. That's 15 years younger than him. Ooh, they get dirty. They get dirty. So when he was 25. My family has never changed, changed, and I want you to be a part of it. You want to be a part of a family that never changes or a family who don't know who they are? I'm the nigga he's running against, and I approve this message too. <laughs> They be like, he's killing him. <laughs> he's killing him. I'm gonna do a whole political character. Guess what his name gonna be? What? I'm Dude. the nigga he's running again. That's hilarious, bro. Because all they do is wait on you to get a uh, get a good ass commercial and then come behind you and say the opposite shit. Why not? That was a good ass commercial. <clears throat> the little dog and shit. When he picked the boo boo up. Put the trash in that up. Put that motherfucker in. Now they like, yep, that was good. But get what? <laughs> Gotta run again. Hey, but that's dangerous as fuck. Because white people dogs do tricks that black people dogs, you ain't even know a fucking dog can do. Right. White people dogs know CPR and shit. For real. Hell yeah. These motherfuckers done went to school in Switzerland and every goddamn thing. For real. White people dogs be having trophies and shit at the house. They done saved three snowboarders and shit. <laughs> He's the same Bernard. He dug out three snowboarders from an avalanche. <laughs> you know, sometimes we just let him go stay in Switzerland for the winter and he works. The dog makes 150 k a year or so. My parents breed them. They make 13000 off a puppy, and all the puppies are sold for the next five years. This shit is fucking crazy. You be like, what? <laughs> you do not want to play the dog game with white people. They, I'm scared. They dogs can do shit. You can say, Fluffy, go get my slippers. Fluffy come back with both goddamn slippers and lay them by the right foot and shit. Tell him. Damn. I need a I seen to train it my dog. Them motherfuckers just take my shit and run out the house. I did a lot of work in the, in the white community. I could tell. Yeah. I ain't had white friends like that. We see white I never people. Said, we see white people and thought they were aliens. There they go. They like who? Shit, them light motherfuckers right there. <laughs> Why them niggas so light, God? <laughs> you know what's fucked up, bro? We ain't never seen no real white people. Uh uh. Like white people at home, you think they be? They probably don't even talk like that for real. Mm -mm. I know how they talk. I think they us. I be at home saying nigga amongst other white people like, what the fuck? It's not your nigga. They do say that, but it's always, <laughs> like, it's always crazy. one person. What's up, my nigga? You like, how? One person that disagree but don't really disagree be like, man, them niggas at my job. Honey. <laughs> don't say that. Shut up. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> Fucking nigger, nigger, nigger. Nigger, nigger, nigger. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. They're ah. not tough. Close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door. Damn. I'm in my fucking house. Damn, you act like there's some niggers in here. God, you must be a nigger lover or something. Fucking better not be. Damn, you see, Tom, this is what I have to fucking put up with, Tom. Every time I say nigger, she always gets <laughs> like the fuck. Like she's never seen a nigger. Like, jeez. Damn. Right. So anyway, my nigga, listen. That's probably what they call each other. Just you. as a joke, he just run up behind him and be like, hey, babe, tonight, are you going to twerk for me? <laughs> <laughs> she just looked back. You know I'm gonna twerk for my nigga. What? <laughs> what type of freaky ass shit y'all got going on, man? That what y'all doing? Damn. These motherfuckers crazy. But just listen to white people, bro. Just listen. Just listen to them when music on in the club. All oh, that nigga. When you hear any word, I got a nigga, and they just be in there like, nigga, nigga, nigga. I be like, are you comfortable? Too comfortable. Bitch, I will bow you. Okay. Did you see the video? 
Which one? Where the dude was was calling buddy nigga. He was like, I don't care, nigga. Yeah, he got slapped with the I'm iced tea. Oh yeah, he got nigga. his ass. He got his ass. Boy, right that with that nigga iced got tea. slapped with a mucho mango. I said, this nigga got hit with the Arizona and bus. big can. And, and it bust over. He didn't come in wanting no mucho mango. He but, grabbed it. He grabbed it out of, out, 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 on reach. It was like a pill. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna hit this nigga with this money. He tried to flip it though. That was the first. He tried to flip it, then he dropped it, trying to be Clint Eastwood. This nigga tried. To, I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna go cross his motherfucking skull. I'm gonna grab it, flip it, swing it, crack his motherfucking face. Hey man, that nigga hey. stupid, and bro. And he dropped it. So he had to hurry up. He had to hurry up. He like, fuck. <laughs> How the fuck we playing? Hey, up? when he tried to flip it and catch it, that let me know that dude fuck with white women. Cause he was doing, he was way too terminated <laughs> with it. No, yeah, he yeah, he messed with white women. This nigga ain't white. That nigga lined his I ass know up though. For a fact, that nigga uh, got a tribal tattoo somewhere on his body. I'ma flip it. I'm about to stay in the trailer somewhere, but I'm telling you, I'ma flip got it. Down. Then I'm going to swing it. That nigga looked at it. He said, I do want to drink this motherfucker, though. You know what? Fuck this nigga. And the guy, white man was crazy. He talking about, yeah, nigga. I say nigga. You know what I, I love about the video, though? No is that didn't nobody say shit. Mm-mm. Yeah, you know what my favorite part of it was? What? He did that shit. Remember? <laughs> He was talking about how Jody got choked out at Baby Boy. Mm-hmm. Like, because they were fighting, then he let him up. And he was like, okay, he was still talking shit, then he choked him, but he did that. When he did that shit, when he did that shit, I was like, oh, he don't want no more. That's the universal sign. The girl <laughs> nigga choked him. When the motherfucker do that. That day, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I can't eat. Yeah. What you say? Yeah. I got what, motherfucker? Yeah, man. <laughs> no, say it out loud. <laughs> 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 I'm like, no, nah, everybody pull your phone out. You <laughs> What? You <laughs> I got what? You <laughs> <laughs> pull your phone out. <laughs> What's my name? I don't know. You got it. Who got it? You got it. Who the nigga? I don't know. I don't know. You uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that nigga yeah, nigga's stupid, bro. Oh. He said, you uh, <laughs> You uh. <laughs> Are you throwing up, up or what? He was fucked oh. up. Uh, uh. You can tell, but he done said it before. He was just like, nigga, there ain't nobody gonna stop me from. <laughs> that nigga said, where you from, uh, uh. nigga? You uh. from? <laughs> what is it? You got <laughs> who the nigga? I don't know. <laughs> you got you want to go home? Yeah. <laughs> that means you really get choked, bro. What? You really get choked. Ask that nigga a question. Whoop his ass, boy. That's hilarious, oh. bro. But see, them ass whooping right there, nigga always be like, boy, if I can ever catch a nigga like that in one of them atmosphere, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock his eyes. I'm telling his eyes is coming out his his eyesight. Man. I'm gonna sit right there. Mm, I'm gonna punch that shit out. That's, I think that's probably one of the highlights of 2020, though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, they let you know he's oh, still yeah. out here. Oh, drop team. Woo! Get out! Oh! Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey, get his plate! Get his plate! Get his fucking plate! Get all that! You touch you're me, nigga. Jail, you tried to rush me, nigga. Fucking, yeah, get out. Damn. You go get the he dropped somebody. He dropped somebody. He cut somebody. He dropped somebody. He got that old little look. You seen it? He was dropping. <laughs> Come here, come here, I'm gonna get you, come here, 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 come come here, 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 
Hey man, I'm just I crazy, man. I can't, man. <laughs> this nigga hey, man. here, man. Hey man. <laughs> Hey, hey boy, listen. Oh, he cut that baby. You hear me? He, he dropped. Him. He dropped. Him. Other nigga throw coffee on him. Oh, y'all get y'all bitch ass. The too. other nigga didn't want it really no more. The other one was like, that was, that hey. was I thought he was the big one. He saw, <laughs> he the saw how that left like, came. I, that was my big guy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga looked like you okay, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> you fell. Hey man, if he do that to you, he could do that to me. That's fucked up, man. Your partner tried to jump in and help him. He get knocked out first. He get knocked out first. And then the other three walk up like. <laughs> Y'all fight like hell and get back in the car. This nigga quiet for the first two minutes. God damn, bro. Nah, the nigga just look over. Hey, man, what happened in the rest of the fight? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you should have been there. Yo, getting knocked out oh, early. He cut, and nigga. Oh, man. He cut that nigga ass, boy. He hit him, boy. Damn it. Nigga said, boy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why I hit your ass, boy? He said, hey, boy, what you want? Come on, run up. Come on, let run. Let run. Let run. Let run. Let run. Let run. Hey, man. <laughs> he oh, cut shit. that baby. I watched that video probably like he 30 times, bro. He was on his ass. He was on his ass. He was on his ass. And you get what? He kept it so gangster. He ain't pull the pistol out. He ain't do none of that. He <clears> sat <throat> right there, and he just allowed the shit to go down there. He was like, that hit. But you know what I ain't like, though? Well, the nigga probably ain't know him. The other nigga who was recording, mm. I'm not finna allow one black man to get jumped on by no white man around. Not, what not. if it was a white lady recording? That sound like a nigga in the back. It, it might have been, but it might have been one of them niggas that ain't a nigga. Like one of those lights in your nigga. Yeah. I don't want to allow that to go down. I don't know why he swing the left, I'll be over there with the right. Like, you swing your left, I'm going to got them. Hit him with the left, I'm going to got them. Come on, left, nigga. Ooh, man. Somebody going to have to hit him with an uppercut. We're going to need somebody. Hell no. Nah. This is all we got right here, got that. Imagine jumping in to help a nigga. He don't respect your fighting skill. He be like, I got you, bro. No, nigga, move back. Watch out. No, you don't. He be like, God damn. He be like, I'm going to walk to my Watch car. Watch out, bro. I need some room. <laughs> <laughs> Step back, my nigga. I don't need no help. Wait, no help on these white boys. Move, my nigga. <laughs> this nigga don't like you see you. one of these niggas is knocked out already? <laughs> <laughs> this other nigga don't even want no smoke. Move, bro. <laughs> you about to get a nigga hit. You should have jumped in first. Move. I'm, about, I'm almost at the end of the game. Nothing. <laughs> Hell no. That's hilarious, bro. Take your ass home. I know the nigga who left when it said, man, you know, man, that nigga whack had the wolves and niggas earlier too, bro. Then you see the other white people that just walk past and just watch, they like, yeah, we don't want no parts of this shit right here. This shit happens. This shit happens a lot. <laughs> I've seen World Star before. Let's go. <laughs> He's on there. He's gonna be on there by six. Come on, come on. That nigga got down tiptoe. He said, why? Well, I see you. See you. See you got this creep, boy. See you creep. Come on. Come on, come on, my seat, seat creeping, bro. He tipped off. Uh, <laughs> hey, but he knocked hey, that bro. nigga out for real, for real. That first one got knocked no, out for real, for no, real. No, the first one got knocked out and got cut. Sleep, sleep. That's the difference. He sleep. hit him, cut him, now he got a permanent scar. He gonna forever think about that nigga when he wake up. You did. He tripped out. Ooh. You got a scar from a nigga that you gonna think about for the rest of your life. Yeah, cause we're not about you to act up. like that shit ain't hurt like a motherfucker that what? next day. What? Head to the concrete. Yeah. Nigga, the nigga oh, hit the ground. Yeah, you, like, yeah, hey man, once you get to be an adult, man, you ain't supposed to hit the ground like yeah, that. Yeah, after 35. That shit takes mm -hmm. some healing. First of all, your buttocks ain't supposed to hit that ground. Both <laughs> of your butt cheeks, <laughs> your buttocks. Once these two motherfuckers connect to the ground, Look, you losing. <laughs> you are not losing the fight. You need to get Ain't up. Ain't no nigga ever won no fight from right now. Cause up. right now, <laughs> the only thing you finna be no, doing no, is. No, I got a move. I got a move that I do. <laughs> No, you I don't. I got a move that I do from that nigga be trying to explain this oh, shit. This nah, ain't no jujitsu. No, nah, nigga. You, you, you need to run, jujitsu. You are down. You are down. You need to run, Sue. <laughs> Get up, Sue. <laughs> That's what you need to do. You need to fight, Sue. That was, <laughs> this ain't no jujitsu. Mm -mm. Hell no, nah, but I remember I hit the ground one time. Ooh. 
It was so hard to get up. How fast did you get up? Man, I tried. He kept putting yeah, me right back down. You lost? Oh, man. Every time oh, I'd man. seen the, the, my legs got right, right here, I was yeah, like, God yeah. damn it. Yeah, Went back down. That nigga was good. I would tell him every time I was getting up. I was like, you're good, nigga. I understand <laughs> where you coming from. You made your point. I'm trying to go home. You ain't letting me go home. As you can see, I don't want to fight you no more. You have whooped my ass in front of all my friends. I have nobody else to depend on. So if I can just depend on you to let me go home right now, I won't bother you no more, sir. I promise you I won't bother you no more, sir. If you hit me again, God damn it. I told you you made your point, you jive turkey motherfucker. If I go home right now, I promise you I won't bother you no more, sir. You done stopped me for the 30th time. You've made your point. I don't want nothing to do with you. And I'm going to tell others about you. <laughs> to tell them, don't fuck with you ever again in life. That's the lesson I learned. <laughs> so, uh, you know you losing when you start <laughs> thinking of shit. Like, I got to get me one, though. I got to get one. I, I got to get this one motherfucker hit. real hard somewhere. Oh, man. I ain't even know I hit the nigga. Nigga told me, hey, man, you did get one hit. I said, I did. <laughs> I said, if you took a picture. Cause I only remember him hitting me, bro. <laughs> the worst part about fighting is when you hit a nigga real hard and you don't knock him out. You be like, ooh, this is a tough one. Ooh. <laughs> Man, I just I hit had. this nigga with some <laughs> shit that time. That's all I had. That this motherfucker still <laughs> want to fight. Normally nigga be sleep after that. This nigga <laughs> disoriented in this strong. I'm so glad I hit him first. <laughs> Oh yeah, he did. LL said. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Foxx said it, didn't he? But he, but but Jamie had not swung on LL though. LL said he ain't gonna lie, he caught one up. He was like, "Hey, shit, damn." That's he not, I don't want to fight you. He not you, with the helmet on. I'm proving your point. <laughs> That's the worst story to tell. When you fight on a nigga and then get knocked they out, they yelled cut and left that nigga on the set. Mm -hmm. Who gonna help That's him? You, no, no, you ever no. been on the set? Cut. Everybody, let's take fifteen. Who the fuck wants to help? Let Jamie sleep it off. Nobody touch him. <laughs> the fucked up part is when he walked over to the director. Phil, did you get that? <laughs> did you get that? You got it. You got we, it. We, I mean, we're gonna have him do it over, but we totally can use that. <laughs> let's, let's get another one of those. It's not in the script. <laughs> but he said, but he said they laugh that shit out all the time. Yeah, ain't no, yeah. You you gonna laugh when you getting up from being knocked out? You don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody laughing, you laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way a nigga about to knock you out and you get up and be like, Boy, hey, I got you, though, but hey, but, but you tell the truth, away, I fight on your ass, though. I'm saying, you got, you got it? But hey, tell the truth. I say, that me. If I would have put a little more, if I would have twisted a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, that me right there. I got up like, hey, I remember a little bit of it. I swung on you first. Hey. You got me fucked up. What Hell if the nigga bro. woke up and was just ready to finish the movie after that? He didn't want no more smoke. So what? We making a film or what? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we, hey, is this a movie or what? <laughs> what we doing? Any given Monday? What's Man, happening? Hey, y'all nigga, hey, y'all, hey, take advantage of the situation. Sunday. We got Sunday. Al Pacino on set today, y'all. Let's get Sunday. Up Al. <laughs> a <laughs> living <laughs> legend. I ain't even cap, but that is T.O., you want some last? Damn Bro, hell no. Throw me the football. <laughs> ain't got shit to say, my nigga. Oh, shit. That nigga L.L. would talk about that shit. Smooth here. I'll never forget when, um, when Jamie had that. Um, he had to swung on me. <laughs> he had to swung on me in front of everybody. <laughs> and I remember I was just looking. I was like, Jamie, <laughs> you ain't ready. I looked at him. I say, you ain't ready. <laughs> And then I just knocked him out. <laughs> Cause you know mama say knock him out. <laughs> you know. He probably played that the whole rest of the right. time they was filming. Every break that nigga mama sitting said over there. Knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years. That nigga playing that shit all through, through the sound stage. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> that song was ass. <laughs> that song was ass. I've been saying that song ah, is ass. That's hilarious, bro. Mama said knock you out. I can't believe bro. that shit went. If you don't be what you don't fuck with it. That shit terrible. What? It's terrible. He should have gave that shit to Marky Mark. No. <laughs> that shit went crazy. Bro, we can still love motherfuckers that not like everything they do. I did not like that one. That was kind of like monumental. Like, mama said, mama said knock, knock you wow. Come on. But that means your mama had to wow. let you go back out there. My mama did that. My I mama, know. That's my mama did saying. that for real. Yeah. I'm mama, just not a, your mama sent you out there. Maybe, you maybe out. it wasn't did ass, it. but I didn't it. like it. I just didn't find give, me, give me the part that you, you just, they lost right. you on. Right. Because that was, a, that was always a good song to me. I'm like a cannon. I'm about to explode. That nigga stupid. Damn it. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Uh. Hated that part. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what else I didn't like? Something like a phenomenon. Oh, man. Something mm. like a phenomenon. Like, like a phenomenon. Oh. Like I oh, no, I was always an El Cool J fan. Why I used to be in the mirror like, I'm about to kill these bitches. I don't know how he do it, but I'm trying to do it. Either. Hands from. <laughs> First of all, that nigga came right hands on. Hands from. Everybody get their hands, 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 hands from. I did not fuck with that. Hands from. What y'all niggas bullshit? That nigga came right on. They call me Big, Big LA. LA. Huh. We've been watching Big you for LA. 30 years. Nobody has ever mumbled that. <laughs> Big LA? They call you LL Cool J. <laughs> what? That's your name. <laughs> they okay. call him Big LA. This hey, one, this Big one I know it was an industry plot. What happened? That nigga happened? had Petey Pablo on the hook doing all the work. Well, hold up. Well, Petey Pablo was on the hook? And I'm about to get the hit. That's Petey Pablo. I didn't know that. I did you not the know video? that. Cause we be up in the club. We you got some hoes in the back. There we go. Damn, that yeah. was Peter Pablo. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. So yeah. No, no, but. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get your heads, bro. Now you like it? You so said you bro. ain't fucking with it. I don't fuck with it. I don't. They call I me don't. Big LA. We but skate like a motherfucker to that shit. Soon as that part come on, they call me Big LA. Come on, <laughs> Big LA. Hey, what is the shit right here? <laughs> Yes, bro. Get low, toot, toot. Get low, toot, toot. <laughs> and you know the fucked up part? I fuck with you. All, damn near all the LLQs. <laughs> you had no wheels. You better get off the floor. Them three songs. Bitch, I said two toot now. Them three songs really bother me, man. As an LL Cool J fan, man. What? Them three and songs? You fuck with man. Them. But they were popular, shit. but you know, they all go have their pop. But the name is. Because this is the same nigga that made gone. nobody can rap quite like I can. I take a muscle bound man and put his face in the sand. I'm yeah. not the last mommy yo, but yeah. I'm an MC rock. I mm-hmm. make it say go LL and do Ooh, the wop. Uh-huh. Mm. But then you go to motherfucking. Don't, Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I ain't I'm not fucking with it. <laughs> That, that shit, shit hard. hard. That well, shit what? Hard. Who do you love? I, that's right. the type of, you listen to that shit when you riding in a Jeep with no doors with a bad bitch. That mm-hmm. shit there. Yeah. That shit ride. Yeah, that's the type of shit you ride. Sing along See, some little... of them shits is classics. <laughs> like, like, who do you love? Sing along. This how cold LL Cool J is, though. This nigga drop a whole dope ass legendary song with a motherfucker nobody even knew. Who was that girl on doing it? Uh, you, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You never the, heard of the, all the, shit uh, else? Uh, was she wasn't even on another on. LL Cool J that, that song. That wasn't even the girl in the video. Mm-mm. They didn't let the girl that really sung it be in the video, so Mm-mm. we really don't know who it was. Just, bro. just sing and just, just sing as you know it. Be in the video, just sing. What you mean? They called me Big LL. <laughs> Big LL. You ready to go skate to that shit? Toot, toot, come on. Toot, toot, toot. This nigga Get ready to go toot, skate toot. to that shit right now. What? He you gonna request it. it. What? You gonna request it. Mama LL fan. You act oh. like you can't like not like some shit. No, no that it's, cool. it's fine. I don't I, I don't think that. Motherfuckers be like you hating on some shit. But you you ain't gotta like everything. I'm, no, I know cool that, right. I'm agreeing. We skip a lot of songs. Oh, it's and we, that, that's progress. what we need to talk about. All them songs that we skip. Skip. Like what? Which one? From artists that we love. <laughs> nigga, you ain't bought a CD from a nigga or <laughs> downloaded an album, like I don't fuck with that. Man, I don't fuck with this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. 
You ever been in the car with a motherfucker who got an album that you got, but they listen to all the shit that you don't listen to on the motherfucker? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> what song is this? I don't Nobody, like that. You listen to this one? You like, oh, this, Nigga, this ain't it. Nigga, you the outro? This ain't it. You listen to the skits? <laughs> you play the skits? Man, you heard Pink on the hook? Pink! Pink. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> Ariana Grande, I ain't nigga. <laughs> nah, Ariana go crazy. She do go crazy. I ain't gonna cap. Ariana go crazy. But but what? It ain't what I want to be here when it's supposed to be the shit you thought it was supposed I to be. be. You feel me? The girl named. She can LaShawn. take her ass off. Not take away nothing. The girl who did who was on doing it. Her name Lashawn. She now lives in Florida as a photographer. Damn. Damn. Was on the ad lib okay. now she taking pictures? No, she was on the whole song with verses and everything. She had a verse. She Damn, was... Lashawn, what's up, baby? Hell yeah. I need a photographer. Pretty much. 2020. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. We're talking about this, that, and the other. Wrapping up 2020, or as I call it, 2020. This shit over. We're really saying bye to this bitch. Mm -hmm. Like, this been a terrible relationship, and I want to see Adios. other years, bitch. Adios. I mean, 2020. 2020. Salvador Domingo bid you. 2020, we lost the Mamba. A bunch of motherfuckers got killed, went to jail. This virus hit. They gave us $1,800 total in stimulus money, allegedly. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden didn't Princess want. Erica, man. They got yeah, a black man. lady first. First guy, what, what's the, she uh, the vice president. She done took the fucking vaccine. Ain't nobody seen her shit. Nigga, now everybody got to get a vaccine. Pussy about to be dry. Mm-hmm. That vaccine gonna dry that cooch up. I heard. They gonna dry all the witness. It's gonna take all the protein out. For at least a couple days, at the minimum. Your shit just gonna be cooch. Can't be the cooch, it's just cooch. Cooch. The they don't know the wit. side effects. Coochie dry. Yeah, they don't, who they gonna test it on? Us. Who? The citizens. Man, they better, man, they better, man. Mm-mm. Nigga? Nope. I'm trying to figure out how they finna make folk take this shit. I'm gonna be in the back of the line. <laughs> Every time I get close to the front of the line, I'm like, you know what, man, I just need to go to the bathroom right quick. <laughs> You know, I would have lost my spot in line. Where would you look at that? I need to go to the back of the line. Back to the back, another thousand people. Stop $2. $2. They were going to get it first. <laughs> I've been doing these crystal commercials since I took this vaccine. 2020, we turning it up over here at the 85 South Show, man. Hey! Turn it, turn it all the way up, man. Yeah. Turn it up. No, we turn, we going stupid. Turn it up. They better get a good look at this trap. Turn it up. We're gonna turn it up. Yeah, you better get a good look at this. It might be the last time you see it. Man, it might, it might be. I mean, you might see it a couple more times. <laughs> it but... might be the last time you see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we about to step it up. We finna get us a whole night. We moving from the trap to the, we going some, to a nice apartment or something. Going yeah. to a duplex. Yeah, from the going, trap to the Going to a penthouse. No, nah, that <laughs> shit George <laughs> Jefferson was getting. We getting a deluxe apartment. Uh -huh. In the sky. In the sky. You ain't got no choice but to have white neighbors. Hey, George. Hi, motherfucker. Hello, I'm Mr. Bentley. They ain't never like each other. What's up, George? What's <laughs> up, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I stay here. <laughs> what up, nigga? Why you First keep knocking all, at my motherfucking door? We got to acknowledge that <laughs> George Jefferson <laughs> was the first black man to call white people crackers and throw them out his house honkies. on TV. Crackers, honkies, Mr. Charlie. Yep. He, he got on a white way. man's back. He yep. walked on a white man's back. Yep. Stepped on. And had his maid. Slammed the door in at least one white person's face per on episode. Every episode. Right. And he called them honkies whenever he felt like it. God damn it, Mr. George Jefferson. Anytime you need to pick me up, pull up some of them George Jefferson. What was his wife's name? What's her Weezy. name? Weezy. Weezy. Oh, Here's George, up. you're just a crazy man. Weezy. <laughs> Don't call him a cracker, George. <laughs> That's the label. There's no such thing as a honky in my house. You're a lie, Weezy. That's one right there. <laughs> Tom Willis is Mr. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the nigga knew he had money. Yeah. <laughs> nigga jump out the motherfucking car with Weezy. You see how he walk up to his deluxe apartment? That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how a nigga with money on, walk. Man. Come on, man. This nigga was 5'4". I didn't come with to get no on. roof. Come George on. Jefferson was only 27 years old. Come Had a whole ball <laughs> with an afro on the side. Bozo. He was going crazy. Bozo man. the clown. How you want? 25 years old. Multi-millionaire from dry cleaning. How you want? That nigga come out there, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> don't burn on the grill. Go wait to get to the hey, grill. Man, what that song is? Look, this Pinch how cold. This how cold George Jefferson was. What it was? The nigga had a cold theme song. That but then when hard. the bitch went off, they had a whole nother song with when no words, humming. just a motherfucker humming. And she mm -hmm. was. She, she sang both of them. For real? Yeah. From good times. Motherfucker was lonely. She would get so much money out that building. Mm -hmm. That maid, that maid didn't want to get the fuck on. What Florence. Her name was? Florence. Florence, I think it's time for you to go. I don't know where I'm going to go, Mr. Jefferson. Bruh, that's how cold George Jefferson was. Mm -hmm. He hired another black lady. To keep the house clean, and she didn't do shit but talk smart to him. No All the time, yep. he could have easily let her go. <laughs> Many times, they needed he, each other. He he, he wasn't gonna fire her. He wake up every morning like, let me see what this bitch about yeah. to say. He kept she kept he him ground. Yeah, yeah. He get George, the, he you get ain't the, the richest hit, huh? motherfucker in town. <laughs> You're right, Florence. I love you. <laughs> go get my bags, bitch. <laughs> like, this right. is crazy, bro. George Jefferson, Apollo legend. As he was. <laughs> man, we gotta get some more sitcoms, man. We need this some. Is, what we gonna do? This is sitcom. James, James need to Come goddamn on, get recognized, man, for just staying down. Man. James Evans. Just staying down. Hey. I always had a job, but I always got fired. Fuck it. Just stay He's still down. alive. We should write a show for him. Like he made it out the hood. And now he live in the suburbs and he got money. And he's still the same nigga though. Yeah, but he done got a new family. Oh, no. That's fucked up. Yeah. James Evans? James Evans. He, Who you with? A white woman? Back? Hell yeah. <laughs> he faked his death? A young white woman, too. <laughs> well, oh, younger than him. She right. 40 something. Right. 30s. Yeah. All right, going crazy. Yeah. They you got the hell they, out of that bitch. And they only got one son. Like, they got like two mixed kids. What he called like, that one? Them his mixed kids. What he called them, though? Like JJ? Mm mm. What he called them? They got white names. Do we like, whip them? They? Like Connor. <laughs> Do they get whippings? Hell Remember, no. they used to get whooped on them no, motherfuckers. Because these are the kids he had after he got the money. So he he don't whoop no more. They ain't, now he wasn't really. He don't whoop with he money. No, nah. he on some Levar Ball type shit. What? That's the whole pre premise of the shit. He got mm. some sons about to go to the league. Mm. We use James Evans to go to back. Ball there we go. Story. Okay. Oh. Like but from the hood perspective, hook them all the way. But from the neighborhood, not Florida, the hood hood. I'm so tired of these motherfuckers. <laughs> but the white lady named Dakota, not Florida. We need a we need another show like Living Single, five black strippers. They live, live in the house in Atlanta. Mm. Living, living single. with singles, living off singles. Ooh. Living with singles. We in our bag today. We in the whole writer's bag right See, now. See, but I, but I this, was on it when I was like up, living wait. single. I was like this went single. from 2020 to a writer's room. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, bet. Living with living off singles, living, living off with, singles, play with living them. with singles. Wow, that's all right, yeah. Okay, Queen Latifah comes back mm -hmm. as the strip club owner. Okay, mm -mm. she the she the she the she the mama of the strip club. You know the one that makes sure everything get 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 all the money and shit. Yeah, you know who she, I was, yeah, you know who you I was thinking for him. Who? See, I said him. Mm -hmm. What he was? Motherfucking cow. Cow. Yeah, Kyle nah, he, Barker. He, Kyle Barker. He, he kinda, what Kyle he, Barker gonna do? Uh, he the he, house mom. Yeah. I was just gonna say, he the one. Get that money off the floor. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You bitches are not dancing enough. Hmm. Right. He be like, because you know he bought. Kyle, man? He bought a line. He bought a line. Yeah. He could have went either way. Right. Now. Right. Right. Like they never said he was, but they ain't never let you know that he did. He right. Was right. With right. Max. On the, but it took five seasons though. Right, Max been trying to get that nigga. You that know, pussy. up until he got with Max, but he know, was Max, just Max was going just on dates. The, Max was just showing. Max up was trying to throw the food. pussy. She was, he, she, he was like, "Why are you so?" You know you. the crazy part about that shit. <laughs> 
The craziest part about Max is she didn't even oh, know she was fine. Like, what's wrong with Max is she was one of the kids that was supposed to know, not know that she was fine. No, but in real life, in real life, Erica Alexander, she said she didn't ever know she was fine until she started playing Max. She didn't think she was fine as Max either. Oh no, she had a little. She, that, that, she I, was. I, she I was, see why she said she that, was but she's fine as She fuck, was walking. Though. I like. I liked her little long she strides across the fuck. screen. She had a nice little gait to it. And she, she was a dark skin. She was a dark skin, sexy chocolate thing. With the little dreads. Yeah, with the little the little plaques. Little plaques. Yeah, the little yeah. plaque dread. They were burnt at the end. Ain't nobody gonna say it though. So they were come loose. We saying it now. Saying Yo, it. we should have said it. What I'm about to say. What. That Khadijah was one the I was just finna say Khadijah was Khadijah stupid was, ass. Yeah, Khadijah went. I love Khadijah. About? Khadijah had a business. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you who got this ooh, who probably had the weirdest pussy. What what? Sinclair. Sinclair. Come on, baby. Everybody dog. know. You Everybody know Sinclair. Know the silly one. Wet, it's always wet. the silly one. Come on, man. Sinclair had that wet wet. That's why old too. He wasn't letting that go. It's slow ass. Hey, man. I just can't let you go, Sinclair. I just can't. It's just show about you, shit, Clip. Boy, ever since you turned Jamaican, you've been in your bag. Yeah. Ever since you turned to the roster, man. <laughs> I just can't just show about you, shit, Clip. I just can't. Listen here, listen here. Every time I see you, shit, Clip, I just want to put my, 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 my plumbing stuff down. I just want to, I just want to come slap on that pussy every day, shit, Clip. I'm going to fuck you up. Okay. This is sleeper of the whole but, show. Oh, Y'all don't remember this. You Do remember that. after Oh, we can't forget after, Regine, though. After, um... Sinclair okay. and Overton First. broke up. Ooh. He had the other girlfriend. Ooh. For a little bit. For, For a little, little bit. bit. For a little bit. But Sinclair got a mind right. Sinclair got came back. Sinclair mm. got a mind right. Mm-hmm. Sinclair came back. Sinclair came back. Yeah, Ray I remember when... was the first one swapping wigs out. Right. We ain't know we ain't know you could pull off looking good with a wig. She was cold with the wig. And now look, she was... this I may be wrong on this one, she but if my it. memory serves me correct. Talk Do you remember Big Last? They used to host Rap City. Yes. I think she was the lady dancing. They did the kick. Exactly. Mm. Come on, man. Now you, that's like black history. We got to do this more history. often, man. I, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm kind of like, I think that was the kick. It sounds accurate. I want to say that with a wolf. I, yeah, I remember when Queen Latifah fucked up with Grant Hill, her stupid ass. She, she fucked up his ankle. No, nah, she just ain't want to get married. She didn't want to get married to him. And she movie. liked the other dudes. Mm-hmm. I mean, on the show. Mm-hmm. She the wanted to be with the other nigga. Yeah. The little runner boy. That's real life shit, though. <laughs> she didn't want the nigga with the money. She wanted to be with the runner. That's how life goes, Ooh. though, man. Hey, man. That's how it be. Sometimes. Nigga, the runner boy got more swag than the nigga with money. Hey, man, what you trying to say about Grand Hill? <laughs> I'm just playing. But. I ain't gonna lie. His acting skill was funny in here. He was like... <laughs> I ain't never did this before. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> You are uh, uh, so beautiful. Nigga, no, I was like, oh, no, shit, no. Grant. He had to be hot back this then. This nigga know all the episodes, bro. I knew, this bro. I mean, you bullshit. know they didn't put Moesha on Netflix, and now everybody finding out that Moesha really wasn't a nice person. She was kind of a... Tell me, on the show? Yeah, she was real She nigga. was going crazy. Yeah, she was running away and dating <laughs> and shit. A lot of them heroes that we thought was, they wasn't good guys. Nobody. <laughs> like who? None Hulk of that shit Hogan. we watched, dog. Hulk Hogan is the worst one. What happened? Man, they oh, found okay, all these boy. goddamn tapes of Hulk Hogan calling everybody niggas and all kinds of <laughs> shit. Yeah. When? It's been a while. Yeah. Man. It was a I while ago. He Hulk got tapes of him calling us niggas, so he recorded oh, himself. He said his biggest mm. fear yeah. for his daughter to get with one of them niggas. Right. He said what? Brooke Hogan. He said what? And Brooke was fucking all the niggas. What she, what he said? Some big ass right. feet. Some big ass feet. What no niggas <laughs> stressing over Brooke Hogan? Nah, but what Hulk Hogan say? He was, it's a bunch of shit, man. Go on land. What I mean, that ain't some shit she really said. It. But he said a bunch of fucking what? stupid racist ass right. shit. Said some shit sounding like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Pretty much the same shit Dog the Bounty Hunter said. <laughs> I, I, I don't fuck Dog the Bounty Hunter, man. It ain't a lot of people that I, <laughs> but I don't fuck with him, bro. You know he died, bro. No, he did. Yeah, he did. No, he did not. Oh, oh he died. see, oh, stop yeah, playing. Right. Oh, my bad. The motherfuckers, you don't like live so long. You stupid. You stupid. You <laughs> stupid. What I'm saying? Oh, he, he a racist too? He all the motherfuckers racist. I'm convinced. He a racist too? Yeah. Dog yeah, the Bounty Hunter. Look, we don't want no black people around because we say nigger a lot. He, he had said a, they don't he, have no black people. His son there. had a black girlfriend, and he taped it. And a baby and everything. <laughs> and he taped it and said what? And he taped released it. Just let everybody hear it. Taped it and let everybody hear it. And him say, nigga? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? His daddy. Hey, man, there's a lot of racist that shit going on. That fucked up. 
I used to watch that shit. Dog, man, three hundred. Be running and shit. Get him, get him. I'm like, but you a running <laughs> look, motherfucker. If you go back and watch it, all he was chasing was fucking meth heads. That's all in Hawaii. Where they gonna run to? You act like you were saving people. Aloha, bro. Aloha, bro. You gonna change your life, bro? Bro, aloha. You gonna change your life, bro? He really think he's he doing them a favor. You don't give a fuck about this nigga, man. Dog the bounty hunter give a motherfucker two cigarettes and take him to jail to face 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I'm tired of chasing you down. Well, bitch, let me get away with some shit. You not even the cops. Y'all got all these badges and pepper spray. You ain't the police. He got man. no gun. They got a big ass. Big ass chop on pepper my spray. Whole ride back to, man, why you keep taking me to jail? <laughs> nigga, you must be a happy motherfucker <laughs> to see a nigga locked up, bro. <laughs> what type of nigga wanna be a bounty hunter? <laughs> you get paid at the end of the month for this. Man, let me out this motherfucking car, man. <laughs> nigga get paid on commission. God damn. On commission of how many niggas you lock up? Taking me to jail ain't gonna get you for $300. Man, stop by the crib, I'm gonna give you 400 man. Let me out this motherfucker, man. Bro, I'm too high to go to jail this weekend, man. I just took seven hits of acid at my boy house. That's how you caught me. I thought you was giving me a ride, man. Dog, let me get that cigarette again. Look, man, please let me have this motherfucker, man. I got the little bitch coming over there tonight. She gonna smoke some crack, man. Look at my fuck. Look at my. Look how much crack in my fuck. <laughs> Nigga, I got a whole bag of crack, man. Let me have this motherfucker. That's <laughs> why she wants to smoke some crack, man. Look at my pocket. Man, look at my front pocket. I got 30 You see right. you ain't got nothing on you, bro. Bro, I, I got some dope on Aloha. me right now. I got my bro. check in this pocket. I got the crack over here, man. The business is finna come. <laughs> but, but why he, but did he go to prison and then he got out? Yeah. He always be trying to tell Yeah, for, that for taking his job too fucking seriously, man. He yeah. was out there acting like the police. Nigga jumped through a window. He tripping. <laughs> This nigga, nigga swore through a window like he on But he fell down the building. <laughs> <laughs> it was a one-story building. It was a one-story building. Just, it was some there. steps. It wasn't even no building. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got that? Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Y'all ready? Hold, uh, on, hold on. They weren't ready. <laughs> All right, let me go. Hold up. Set the damn camera up now. We ain't got that many windows to break. <laughs> Get the pepper spray. <laughs> they be popping the trunk like they get guns and shit. Yeah, let's go to the back of the trunk. Hey, hey man, now that you bring this shit up, that show was, that show was funny. Hold up, where's your flashlight? You got your flashlight. When we didn't know they was racist. Got your pepper spray. Got your the pepper spray. Who, who thought they had their paperwork and shit straight. Look, man, I'm not running from you, dog, man. I'm not running. Dude. Right. I'm, I'm not in trouble. I haven't done anything. <laughs> well, apparently you missed your court date. What court date, man? Right. <laughs> what, what, what court date? <laughs> what court date? I get all my paperwork, man. What court date? Get the cigarette again. <laughs> baby, baby, stop crying, baby. It's nothing. I'm gonna go down here. They're gonna let me out Monday. He's talking about this and fighting work. Oh, be man. All right. And you remember he, he had baby Lisa uh, joining? Baby Lisa. Baby Lisa wanna be on the team, but I told him it's too dangerous. Maybe Lisa want to be on the team, but it's too dangerous. This is Baby Lisa's first catch. We're going to let Baby Lisa do everything. You're going to let Baby Lisa get punched in the face. You better stop. <laughs> them goddamn crackheads run fast than a motherfucker, too. Man. Hey, them niggas really were going from apartment to apartment. Them folks weren't telling. Hey, have you seen this guy? They like. No, <laughs> nigga. You know, English. All oh, them niggas down here, Aloha, man. He in Hawaii. Where they gonna go? Nigga, swim away from you. It's right there. I gotta work. Nigga, get in the water and be like, nigga, if you ain't coming out here, get me. Fuck you. I can swim. I can nigga, swim. I'm from here. That's hilarious, bro. Damn, ain't no dog with race like that. Yeah, they, they all racist, man. Nigga, be out can't there. Watch like shit they got down. What, who else let you down? Shit. Look, Dynasty let you down, too? Ain't oh, they, they racist? They, didn't they? I don't know. Oh, no, ain't well, no they probably did. That would not surprise me. I feel like all on races are to proven innocent. Yeah, man. <clears throat> nah, that was Mel Gibson. That was Mel Gibson. That fucked up. You gonna do Alec Baldwin like that. <laughs> Alec Baldwin at the house like, what the fuck they said about me? <laughs> 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 he almost turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I fuck with them, man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Where's the blue dog? <laughs> yeah, well, lousy <laughs> marbles. I never said none of those things. <laughs> you got me fucked up. <laughs> Mel Gibson. Oh. A pack of niggas. Damn, man. How many niggas come in a pack? Six? How many cigarettes come in a pack? 24? Damn. 20? That's a pack. That's a pack of niggas. Dang. Mel Gibson got us fucked up. That's fucked up. Listen to what you say, brother. Niggas, nigga, teen, nigga, teen. They want nigga teens to smoke cigarettes. Teen. Mm. They need it for nigga teens. You be like, you be, shut your ass up. That's true, though. <laughs> they want nigga teens to be on nicotine. Whoa. That's why the new poison. You heavy. You on your shit. You ain't bullshit. I tried to smoke a cigarette one time. That shit ain't do nothing. Nah, that me. shit ain't the move. That shit ain't the move. I fucked around and smoked two of them niggas <clears throat> back to back. Ain't nobody <laughs> stopped me. Well, I was out there shaking like a motherfucker. Them folks looking at me crazy. Hey, I was like, well, let me get some water. I don't feel good. Fact, kids, I'm 12 years old. You know a lot of kids watch this, this show. <laughs> If you don't ever smoke a cigarette. Don't smoke ever. Them. If you want to know what it feel like to smoke a cigarette, go outside and stand in the middle of the street and bend down and lick that bitch. <laughs> That's what it tastes like to smoke mm-hmm. a cigarette. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't nothing to play with, but motherfucking pavement. I'm talking about that niggatine and that guy, and I was smoking cools. Cool. Well, the cool the bitch went down. You really went was down so smooth on the seventies shit. Man, I was on my cool <laughs> shit. Twelve years old, nigga. I never got out there smoking that bitch. Damn. Pops out there playing football. They like, look, John, you smoke. I'm like, nigga, I smoke, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be bad. Shut up. <laughs> nigga, after that cigarette was gone, I was like, can somebody call my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I won't stop shaking. <laughs> Cigarettes are not the move, oh, no. man. But they not the move, no. bro. Kids do not do drugs, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who own that shit in your family and they making that shit look cool. That shit is not cool. Do not do drugs. Yeah, man. drugs ain't never been cool. I don't know how motherfuckers get uh, on drugs, man. No, you can't do that. As I smoke this drug. Right. That's, that's not a, a drug. That's a herb. Come on. That's an herbal. Dick. You feel me? Natural. You don't want kids to be smoking weed. This is me. Organic. I smoke dope. Okay? <laughs> this is what it is, man. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you do what you do. Uh, and you do what you do. We, we all grown people, right? I ain't bothering nobody. I go to work. I smoke my shit. Uh, I, hey, I'm out the way. I ain't out there robbing nobody no more. Yeah. I ain't stole nothing. <laughs> huh? Uh, Nephew, you hear me? Aye. Hell yeah, man. We, shit. Man, man, go on that bullshit, man. <laughs> that smoke dope. Man, it's dope. And all it's gonna be. <laughs> that's dope? Hey, that's dope right there? This, this, this is the dope. <laughs> Who I get it from? The dope, dope man. man. <laughs> Where he sell it at? The dope, dope house. <laughs> what that make this? Dope. The dope. Okay. Okay. Point in case. Proof. <laughs> no <laughs> more recommendation. <laughs> but we don't want kids to think they smoking dope. Listen. No, this ain't dope. Y'all smoking weed. And we don't want kids to be out there sneaking smoking weed because they'll make you Look, do some this I fucked up. And some of that shit might not be weed, world kids. Art. If you out here, smoke real weed. Don't smoke no K2. Don't yeah, smoke that shit from the gas station. Weed, don't, don't smoke, smoke that shit at the gas station because it's illegal. Hey. Fuck yeah, wait that. Of age. I read so much terrible fucked up shit. Don't be putting nothing in your body. Don't eat no Tide Pods. Damn. What What's wrong with y'all? That white people. White people eat Tide Pods. White people eat Tide Pods. Why people eat Tide Pods? They <laughs> were. That a thing. They, they don't even look good. Look. What, what you thought it was going to taste like? Like, like an orange? A Orange, gusher? A cream sick. They thought it would be a gusher. Yeah. You a gusher remember a earlier chemical, this year nigga. when motherfuckers <laughs> was going to the grocery store licking on the ice cream? Yeah. Yep. Now look at it. Corona. I ain't ate ice cream since this shit started. But that's for other reasons. You know what's going on? What? Teddy. You ain't talking. Licking ice cream? That, that when they start licking that goddamn ice cream and going to the grocery you know store. What's going on? Making, <laughs> the motherfuckers start going to the grocery store making all them goddamn skits, playing with the food and shit. Stop playing with the food, man. I don't like none of that playing with the food shit, man. Hey, if you ain't gonna buy it, don't touch it. Get your ass out of here, man. Go buy it. I just it got theories, though. 
Hmm? They got damn cucumber challenge. That what started off. Somewhat. Fuck that. But go buy the cucumber. You don't suck on no agriculture. I, I go know, buy I the cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you just don't fucking do. Fuck that. I'm gonna just call Wet 100. I'm gonna just ask him to teach me that left. He can just teach me that <laughs> Yeah, gotta hit that nigga come with that back. level. I'm telling you. Cat, we'll be all right. We learned that level, but everybody get that whack. Come on, come on. We gotta get on tippy toe. Yeah. Get him on, son. Get him on, You gotta be accurate with that hoe. Uh, get him up. He's like, get him up, nigga. Whack. <laughs> Put him up. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. I'm like, no, he just clocked out, but that nigga. That I'm nigga, that, saying, get that nigga he up. He got sick days right now. That boy, <laughs> that boy finna go on vacation leave. You hear me? Oh, man. Fuck that. He gonna remember you. Sometimes it pop off like that. You never know where it's gonna pop off. You never know who might be who. What, it was at Hardy's? An old man might whoop your ass. You don't know who, who, it was who. At Hardy's. Not saying whack old, but I'm just saying. You motherfuckers never know. just fuck around with motherfuckers. You can't talk to fucking everybody nah, crazy. They dog. think they in them times where they think they in them times and niggas ain't cutting niggas. Niggas ain't got times. cut. You better Amen. be glad he ain't, ain't got damn time. swing with that right. He only gave you the left. 2021, you're going to start seeing a whole lot of that left. Mm-hmm. I feel it. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> the nigga, with, the, the nigga in the, the stove got the right. That's the go-to. He got the right with the can soda. Oh, he got, but yes. he, Yeah, that one came from down here by, yeah. the, by the knees. It was like, he don't even know it coming. Huh? Nigga wasn't even trying to look at him. He was like, man, I'm just got now. Oh, fuck wrong with that nigga. <laughs> Stupid hey, ass. Hey, man, and then he got up like. <laughs> I get <paid>. Look, he <laughs> <laughs> A little bit went in his mouth. <laughs> Mucho mango. Mm. <laughs> he didn't know what he wanted to do, man. That nigga ah, was fucked up when he got back. Said, I can take it. It's thing. Mucho mango. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, bro. He said, I can taste it. Oh. Telling you, man. Uh-oh. It tastes like Mucho mango. <laughs> Shout out reaching. to that nigga that hit dude with that can. Oh, man. I don't know who he is, bro. Who he is. He he's very, <laughs> very <laughs> underappreciated. And then got off the ground and said, I can't taste it. <laughs> Does that taste like you do? He got up out of there. I hope, I hope, I hope he good. I hope he ain't get in trouble or no Ooh. shit. So the white boy fucked no, him. No, 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 buddy. They hit him with shit, the with the can. He hit that with a cold beard that time. Let that bitch blink, blink, blink. <laughs> Fuck that mucho mango. He gonna be like, is that bloody white man? But wise. Bobby bitch ass. Nigga better be bud. We ain't bud. Y'all niggas oh, bullshit. We ain't hoes, but what? I no, guess, I'm talking about Our essence coming him. through our jeans. We smacking niggas. Hey, man. You can get smacked the for some shit. coming through our jeans. You get your superpower. We been had them, right? You know what I'm talking about. We been had them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we been had them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they come from a maroon. You hear me? What? What? See? That's what he said it did. He should have got... Oh, no, not the double up. Bro, that's how you got to get 2020 the fuck out of here. You got to stomp with your fist Hit so it can sound like it's hard. Hit with the left. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we getting it. That's how you get out niggas to get up out of here. That nigga is stupid, bro. Nigga, <laughs> 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 you think he got hit harder than he really got hit? That nigga said he was on his tippy toe. <laughs> that nigga was on his tippy toe, boy. This nigga throwing wrestling punches. This nigga do a chest chop. This nigga. This nigga grabs me. Finish him. The, and the announcer hyped the shit up. It could be the most bullshit move ever. Uh, oh my God! He's gonna hit him with the ankle breaking heart! <laughs> the ankle breaking heart. jump off two ropes and then run in the middle of the ring and just tickle a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that that nigga is, is stupid, stupid. Oh. 
That motherfucker be having them dumb ass moves, man. But that shit be, when that shit go right, it's right. But other times you be like, who is this nigga wrestling? And they just make up names for these bullshit regular ass moves. Oh, there's a lumberjack kick. Oh, double axe handle. You mean this nigga made a fist <laughs> like this? That's a double axe handle. <laughs> that, that's a, I got to get up out of here move. That's a... <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all talk to her. Y'all talk nigga to hit him uh, with a regular ass chest chop. You got to see the size of the Undertaker's hands. A couple of those chops, man. The average man is going to be knocked out, man. Those chops will chop you in hell. <laughs> it's always the fans talking, nigga. I think he broke his ribs. <laughs> Really? <laughs> you, you got this? Uh, this your shit, ain't it? Yes, sir. That mm -mm. one he bought from you? Mm-mm. That's another one? It is. That's it? No. You yeah, got another one? So. That's the arrow coupe, right? It's a Monte Carlo, though, ain't it? What is it? A Cutlass? Oh, that's a Cutlass also. It's a 442, man. Oh. What is it? What, what you? Uh, 83 Hearst Cutlass. 83. Okay. 442. What's the difference between the Hearst and the Supreme? Hey, man, one of the Hearst is the shift package that they put in there. It's there a few you go. different upgrades and parts and pieces on the car. Well, you know, they made you know some performance parts on the car made by the Hearst company. Okay. You know, Hearst is famous for making shifters and, you know, just random parts and things of that nature. We're talking about it. Okay. We're talking about it. Look at Marvin Gaye looking at 2020. <clears throat> yep, he tired of this shit too. What's going on? I need on? one of them shirts, man. I like it. That it's ain't like, mine, cause that ain't small. That is small. It's like the what you call it. You know when the new cars drop? You got the sedan Here we up. and I'm the coupe. Goddamn, boy. <laughs> Get my goddamn shirt, boy. My goddamn do ya. Yeah. Get my motherfucking shirt, nigga. <clears throat> shirt, boy. You about to put, they put that bitch on. That bitch, though. <laughs> well, that nigga be working out in class. Like, all right, now everybody get on your toes. Everybody get on your toes. Here we go. And three, two, one. Ah, three, oh two, one. Ah, three, two, one. Ah, three, two, one. Ah. He's hitting him with the Tacoma, Texas punch. <laughs> oh, no. It's not the down <laughs> That nigga got a workout <laughs> plan. <laughs> that nigga done took this shit to the extreme, God damn. Oh, that? Oh, that's the twist of rule. Hey, Amen. Everything. <laughs> Dude, this is the closest I'm gonna leave in This is close I'm ever get to these ass cheeks. <laughs> Rubbing booty on your face. I just want. Rubbing booty on your face. Ooh. What you leaving in 2020? 2020, man. Everything that didn't go. Everything that ain't goddamn for show. Am I Everything wrong? that ain't paying, man. You gotta pay me this year. And I'm figuring out new ways to get there, get it done. So hey, we out, we on the edge. I'm leaving. Uh, what you call it? <clears throat> what you leaving? What else? I was a little. Hope everybody get well, goddamn. Whatever the fuck we need to do, sit your ass down for a minute. I think we good here, but I'm worried about LA, man. That shit, you know, it's different, dog. You a fan of the Poor Man's podcast? There you go. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. If I can do anything in life, <laughs> since I can't touch it in real life, I can touch it to myself. You gonna go and look in the mirror and just do that? <laughs> Make it ass cheeks all day. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mouths. Oh. Uh, That's all right there. Yeah. I wish I had a mirror on my roof. <laughs> I was just lay there all day. <laughs> hey man, what type of shit is she wearing? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You gotta uh, enjoy that melanin, man. Uh, melanin do something to you. Uh, yeah. What you leaving in 2020, Fly? Man, I'm leaving all that pussy ass bullshit, all the excuses. All Yo. come on, Mikey. Let me show my shit on. Yeah. All excuses. All bullshit, all just fuck ass bullshit. Motherfucker don't want to be nothing in life. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear nothing. No excuse nobody made up. The reason why they ain't doing nothing to move. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. It's time to work. Let's get it. It's time to, you know what I'm saying? 
You gotta prevail, man. You gotta keep going. You gotta go overcome adversity. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta understand, you ain't gonna never live life without no battle. You feel me? You just gotta keep going. Stay prayed up. You feel me? So if I ain't fucking around with no bad vibes, no nothing in, in 2021, man, if I get any funny feeling about your ass and I start moving differently, that mean I got a funny feeling about your ass. <clears throat> and until proven innocent, nigga, that's, how, that's my new motto. Until proven innocent, nigga, you guilty in my eyes. <laughs> Until proven innocent, man. He did it. He did it. He did it. That nigga thief, man. <laughs> prove it. Prove he ain't no thief, man. Yeah. You know what else I'm leaving in 2020? Motherfuckers yeah. can't argue on the phone around me. Oh, you got to go somewhere with that. Yeah, you got to go on somewhere with that, man. Fuck is that, man? Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. You can't argue on your phone around me. Especially niggas that just bust out yelling. You ain't even know the nigga was on the phone. I, mm. No intense conversation. Mm -mm. What, what, what you talking about? You be like, my all nigga, that, no matter how loud you get, they don't give a fuck. Can't do all that no more. No, sir. You don't even know if the other people on the other line put you on mute. <laughs> you, just, you just yelling. <laughs> they ain't even hear you. They, just, they like, look at this nigga. Look, look at him. <laughs> Shut up! Look, look. <laughs> just yelling. Just yelling. You know what I can't do no more either? Uh, can't what? let nobody hold nothing. Hold nothing? Can't hold nothing. Cause it's like this, at least for the next year, I I can't let nobody. Nah, hold man. Shit, I can let these bitches hold this dick. But I'm saying, besides, <laughs> put it on your forehead. Besides putting the dick on your forehead, the bitch can't <laughs> hold nothing. Right. She can't hold these nuts. Bitch can't hold a conversation. <laughs> you, you, God, damn, you don't even want to talk to her. No, <laughs> no, no. A bitch can't hold my seat. You feel? Uh, uh. Bitch can't hold my coat. Uh-uh. Don't even hold my hand. I ain't holding a motherfucking thing. You understand that? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't uh, with all that. Let me hold something. That shit over with, nigga. You got a stimulus check. Yeah. And plus, hold it's niggas about hold to be some. 2021. I'm going to ask how long you been on Earth? <laughs> you had 2021 years. That ain't right. That ain't right. Hell nah, hell nah. But when I didn't have it, you ain't get to me. Niggas ain't been living 2021 years. I'm just saying, the humans have been evolving for 2021 years. That's even more than that. What about Nigga, humans are more advanced than they have ever been. Nigga, if you got a phone, you can get some money. Right. You can do something. Right. Think about it. It's whole, full, able-bodied motherfucker. Who would ask? Who would rather ask a motherfucker than to actually try to go get something? Right. Right. Hey, whoa, free mm -hmm. money. You but motherfucker don't understand it. free money ain't shit because you ain't got the you don't know the value of the money because it's free. Exactly. That's what you work can get free exactly. money. Exactly. It just won't be from well, hold me that money. motherfucker. Cause you you put the hard in blood, sweat, and tear for that shit. It's just like these niggas that got that loan, man. Better go if get you it. work for a twenty p, you gonna I bet you had that twenty p for a long time. But if you hit for a 20p, you're going to blow that shit in about two weeks. Oh, I saw them niggas all up and down Cali. Them niggas was out there. Uh, during the whole pandemic, everything was closed except the little shops. Niggas was up and down that bitch. You Nigga, could tell my folks. I didn't even know what was going on. I just go to the mall to just get some cologne. I'm on some some little shit. I'm going to the mall for some little shit. Some shit you need. Yeah. Really? But some little shit? Yeah. I ain't even going to buy shit. Man, the mall flooded. I'm like, shout out what the mall flooded for. Like, did I miss the memo? Niggas in line. They over here. They over there. They're like, yeah, you know them folk whoop around, whoop around, whoop around, whoop around. And I'm like, and this way these niggas brought their money. Came right to it. Got them. Yep. That's what I'm Came saying. Came right to it. All the motherfuckers I thought I was helping, I ain't really wasn't doing it. No, they, they, they went, they took your money and went straight to the Louis And Vuitton. fucked it off. And fucked it off. I'm talking about shit that they begged and had the sad ass story for. Mm -hmm. Fucked hey, it off. Nobody bought hey. no tissue. <laughs> motherfucker got all that money. Ain't nobody went and bought no tissue. They went and bought a thousand dollar sweater, and you still need paper towels. If I was you, I'd take every thread out of that thousand dollar sweater and wipe your monkey ass <laughs> twenty times with your stupid wipe it with the thread. Now you got doo doo on your fingers. You see how stupid you feel, stupid man. Ass, man. Oh, man. Fucked up, man. Bed on the floor, and you done went and bought a thousand dollar sweater, bitch. You For need a what, bed spray. nigga? <laughs> Yo, children need bunk beds. They are, they head on the wall. You hear me? Your child head on the wall. Bitch, you need to go to the dump. <laughs> you, <laughs> you at the dump. <laughs> <laughs>
There's one of your dressers don't dress her. <laughs> that dresser drawer don't close. I, uh, dope. <laughs> Everything you need. I'm finna go to the mall. Right nope, here. you need to go to the <laughs> dump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I, I, I fought with the dump, too. Man, shit, that shit. Boy, that thing ain't being there. For what? I went to the dump one time. I said, but this ain't no dump. <laughs> this is heaven. This all right here. This shit, $20, nigga. I want all this shit. They're like, where you at? I said, I'm at the <laughs> dump. <laughs> I want all this shit. You know that shit. Can't this is great quality. Oh. Can't even fuck with You can't it. fuck with your like the name? You don't fuck with a dump? I fuck with it. It's at the name, bro. You go in there, ain't nothing to rent or something. It's a furniture store. That's all it is. It's a furniture people, store, bro. In case they it's just really, called a yeah, dump. Yeah. I don't know why, but. Yeah, that should be cheap. I get all my stupid. furniture <laughs> made by an old man from a small village. What, where? What village? It's a fishing village. It's mostly underwater. Coastal. Yeah. <laughs> the village underwater. Most of it. <laughs> <laughs> but he stay on the part of above. But I mean, they got one of them kind of houses that's kind of like above. Oh, on the sticks. Yeah, paint the picture. They don't call them sticks, but yeah. Stilts? Something like that. Crane legs. They got a word for it, but it ain't that. You talking about a teepee, motherfucker? Nope, a teepee's on the ground. He would drown if he lived in a teepee. It's called a shanty. <laughs> <laughs> talking about a shanty? With the sideburns? No, that's a shanty. <laughs> oh. Was, there was a point where she lived in a shanty. <laughs> With a lady named Ashanti. Yeah. <laughs> Who's on with Ja Rule? <laughs> and Ja Rule scammed all the folks out there, man. <laughs> I was just playing, but that's what they said. <laughs> you know, white people don't say Ja Rule, they say Ja Rule. They just say, they call him Ja. They call ja. him Ja. You know, we have a little event with Ja. <laughs> they like, so who? Ja? You know his yeah. songs. <laughs> I'll take you to the up uh, wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you didn't see you know Candy that Shop, did you? <laughs> I saw on Candy Shop. Sorry. <laughs> you know the nigga. In your hip, your smile. They're like, what? You know, your uh, hip, your smile. <laughs> your smile. I don't know him. <laughs> Ja Rule used to say some bullshit though. When you look at some of these rap songs, a lot of them was on bullshit. Ja Rule came on his son. His opening line was, When I first met her, all I thought was thong, da thong. That's what you thought, nigga. That's what you thought. Cisco song. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing popped in your head. That nigga Ja Rule. Ja Rule wrote that nigga back then. That nigga cap, bro. That nigga bullshit. Yo, them songs, you know. You know, the only nigga I know that can have a voice like that and sing and be like, yo, my nigga, I don't give a fuck what they say, man. I'm the greatest singer alive. He man. wasn't, was he singing? He was singing. You know why he was able to do that? Well, because his first song was Holla, Holla. Holla, Holla, everybody get ready to get Holla, Holla, come on. Ah. I ain't even fuck with Ja Rule, man. I don't know why he, he let that boy do it like hollering. that. He got uh, tired of hollering. No, no. it's Maruda. I remember that shit. That was his shit. I remember. Ja, what's up? Murder. <laughs> ja, what you been doing? Murder. You like, man, shut the fuck up. Murder. You gonna go to jail. <laughs> what was that song that he was on Snake. with Jay Z and um? Can I get a whoa, 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 whoa? Yeah. I'm running out of my thoughts. Who don't got dog? Mm, they get no, no, no. Who was who was the girl though? Amir. Amir. Oh my baby. She was so fly. If I could, if flow futuristic, would you still put your lips on the wood and kiss it? I forget the she word. She said her coochie remains in a Gucci name. Mm-hmm. That bitch went crazy. What did y'all rules say about that bitch? This what he said, me at, they had him in the alleyway. When she said they she shot his shit last. mixing Alizé and Vodka, <laughs> I was like, nah, that bitch crazy. She probably hit niggas. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, this missing two two cans of clear liquor. Right. Somebody going to he ain't really, doing, he ain't really say shit on that song. He was like, can I get a wall door? Let me come in all in my dog. I didn't know what the fuck he was saying. I was like, nah. I'm 30. 30. 28. <laughs> I just round it. I get old. They be like, how old are you, man? I'm 30, man. I need to shut up. Yeah, 30 coming <laughs> up. You straight. Yeah, we right there. point in your life when you don't need no This pick of age, stay there. Forget a year. That's yeah. the best thing you I can do. I never forgot how old I was. That's yeah, why I rounded up. There you go. I, don't need, yeah, I, I think at one point in time, I don't even remember me saying 26 and 27. 
It's like getting a year back. Yeah, I was just like, shit, I'm yeah, like, once you grown, you grown. Yeah. It's up to you. My 26 and 27 was gone. I ain't even get a chance to tell nobody I was 26. Bro, so. You feel me? They were like, how old you at? I'm like, man, I'm, I'm almost 30, man. They saying that shit almost three years. Realize I forgot how old I was. I'm Why like, your shit. shit say you're 24? That's why I'm like, how old I am? I'm 28 now. I got two more. I got one 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 year left and some change. Yeah. And my dubs. That's the goal. My whole dubs gone. That's the goal. Thirties. I'm trying to be. Who? What you do? What you think gonna happen? In my thirties, I'm gonna get more tired. I'm gonna get more angry and crankier. No. I promise you, I am. Get more understanding. That's what I'm saying. So I know the shit I ain't dealing with. I'm like, telling you, the older I'm not get, dealing with it. The older I get, the more I understand old mean people. Mm-hmm. Cause fuck it, they not mean. They just mean. They what they, seen say. they just firm. Like bro. they yeah. look at us the same way we look at motherfuckers who like 19 and 20. They're like, you don't know shit. <laughs> look at y'all happy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wearing them high ass shoes. <laughs> Don't even know your feet gonna swell up anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, goddamn. Go go shopping all the time. Nigga ain't took uh, nail pill today. Uh, Ask him when he had a vitamin in his body. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, oh, you, I'm a vegetarian. You ain't put nail vitamin D in your body. <laughs> the first thing the doctor gonna tell you when your gallbladder go out, you should have had some. Vitamin D. Uh, uh, <laughs> Motherfucker won't eat no oranges or nothing. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Sleep all goddamn day. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> nine in the morning. The day over with. <laughs> <laughs> and they in there sleep. <laughs> nine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we want to smoke blunts all night. We been we did, did that. that. Yeah, yeah. We we been <laughs> smoke blunts been in the sixties. <laughs> ain't nothing new. Don't even know that shit make you stupid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> want to eat Captain Crunch? That ain't breakfast. You gotta put something in your body, man. Right. <laughs> oh. Man. On that sleeping in the on that old soft ass mattress. Don't even know. <laughs> you you fucking your back up. Oh shit. <laughs> hell. The old folk be hell. Hell. How you supposed to sleep? Hell. How hell, you, supposed to hell sleep? You, you you supposed to go to bed at nine o'clock so you can be up. <laughs> Early. <laughs> hell, I get up and kick the rooster in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> It be still dark outside. I'm, I be dressed in eight and all that old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I got to wait on. I got to wait on motherfuckers to wake up so I can get my damn day started. <laughs> I try to pull up and get some breakfast at McDonald's. That's how they say it. <laughs> I, I went to McDonald's. <laughs> I had to wait, McDonald's. I had to wait 30 some minutes for them to cut the goddamn light off. Everybody's sleepy. I wish the fuck I would get sleepy. What you was gonna Why get, you ain't at work, OG? What you was gonna get at McDonald's? I, was, I went up there to get me two pieces of sausage. <laughs> A cup of, what you gonna get? A parfait and some sausage. Why you ain't at work, OG? Yeah, oh, hell. Hell, I'm, I'm, I've am i been up there 30 some years. I can go when I want to. <laughs> Don't nobody tell me when to go to no goddamn job. <laughs> I want, I'm, I'm supposed to have been retired five years ago, but hell, I just, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, you, y'all, y'all young folks got it all fucked up. Oh, man. Yeah, it don't work like that. How it work? Yeah, you don't want to fuck all these hoes. Who going to go pick your pills up? One of these hoes. And one, exactly. You think that. She gonna be on the next dick. That don't need no pill. Be <laughs> hot. Uh, <laughs> see, cause dick get old. Pussy live forever. Right. Pussy is eternal? Yeah. Pussy live forever. Pussy Do they like, have a... Pussy like a liver. It can regenerate itself. <laughs> Even a bad liver? Get right. Yeah, yeah. It'll grow back. Pussy grow back. Oh, I forgot liver do grow bad on. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. They got a cook, they got like a pussy rejuvenator pill. Yeah, women can do it if they think about it hard enough. It's they got all a in focus. the mind. 
Mm-hmm. It's all in the mind. What's the, what's the, what's the, like, it's like a they yoga, like a They got the fold like of pussy lips up, man, and squeeze it and put a rubber band around it. It's like when the lizard loses his tail and grow another <laughs> one. So when the, when the pussy, when he try to I open up, it like, mm-mm. I can't explain how it you happened. It just muscle. happens. It's a mutation. <laughs> what? Yeah. The opposite of the of the blue chew would be the for the ladies in it with. Yeah. Ladies don't need nothing. Make it. Okay. They can change. They die for two weeks and change the pussy. Yeah. All they gotta do is take mm. some pineapples. Yeah. Stop they, they, they very acidic. They very acidic. It's not. Taste some me. of us, some of us don't need. They, they, y'all don't understand that vaginas, <laughs> okay. vaginas are very much, temperamental. Too much gonna be sweet, and now you got a sour patch kid on your hands. This shit. But the one thing about shit. sour patch, too much kids, acidity. Motherfucker tastes like crack rocks, right? Too hey, much hey, acidity. Hey, at first they sour, <laughs> and then they sweet. First they sour, then they sweet. You gotta get through that sour though. It's all good. You gotta get you through that crack sour. Rock, you like that shit just won't stop popping. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if you ever drunk water out of water hose, pussy is no match for you. <laughs> water out of water hose? Yeah. Don't, don't tell it what yeah. you that get. That water hose. Especially that fur little squirt, and don't tell it what's in there. Yeah, that water that hose is water. When you hear it, when they coming out of the water hose, you like. <laughs> you got to let it run. Like, you got to let it run. What that is? Might be a spider or a bug in that motherfucker. You got to let that run a little bit. <laughs> but if you ever drunk some water hose water, you built for it tough. Can't really, it ain't a lot of shit that can really knock you out. Water hose water. Yeah. I grew up on water hose water. Mm-hmm. Exactly, month though. I remember when niggas ain't even had a water hose, you had to put your mouth over, yeah. The yeah. little tap. Yeah. 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 No, they ain't had a water hose. You had to put your mouth on the actual That's wheel. what I'm saying, the little out. thing. Yeah, yeah, the little man, tap. Man, play me right some get the fuck out of 2020 music, man. We gone! Get us up out of here, please. We out of here, bitch. Please beam us it up. It's curfew. But before we leave, man. Superpowers fully activated. I gotta activated. let you know that, man, we just celebrated five years. Hey man. Hey. hey man. Gotta give praises to the most high. To the most high, first high. Man. Let me take this out for my girl. Gotta thank the Lord, man. Like, come on, man. Yeah. 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 Let's... I'm like, baby, can they come home with us? You gotta give praises to the most high in the first half. And then we're gonna give a lot of shout outs to, you know, the motherfuckers who love and support us. Uh, A1 since day one is the real 85 percenters. Keep pushing. Keep supporting this, man. A lot of projects dropping in 2021. I'm still dropping that wine with the prenatal vitamins. (laughs) I'm still dropping the Carlos Bernard. Come on. Come on. Man, that shit coming so hard. That's the thing they don't understand is that I'm really... I'm about to make this shit happen. You gonna test it out? You gonna go to the factory? You gonna I'm, have, I'm gonna get. Taste I'm gonna get some grapes from nigga Italy. Eat no bullshit. No hard ass old. Nah, this is what I'm talking about. Boom, I'm about to mess. Boom, I'm about to fuck with the people who really do this shit. Take that shit. That shit take like fabuloso. You like, those? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh-huh. Don't let them brought to you by nobody. And either. then we're gonna yeah. drop a little a DVD, uh, like a, a documentary online. How, how you for the, started. Yeah, for the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. So they'll know my shit. Official. It should be. It should be like the the legend. And the dude the, who's the, gonna the, help the me Lord. put together. He gonna be on the. Yes, Mr. Miller comes to me and we come together. We make something very nice for this. Yes, we make very nice, very nice liquor for the Austria for you. Call us, but not big name. We're going to make very big. So you're gonna talk fucked up, some kind of crazy accent. Big drink for you. It's going to be delicious. Well, so, come on, I saw. I saw you with your face. Come on. That shit going to work. Yeah. That shit going to work. That's crazy. coming. Yeah. That shit changed. That shit changed, but the address. Yeah, we jacket. I need my jacket. It's been cold in here this whole time. Y'all bullshit. You got your little light skin shit on. You keep doing it. I see what's going on, TJ Deadwell. <laughs> <laughs> I see you with the tight braids. I see you. You see what I'm saying? But first time I get the. Uh, Get the AI as my shit and I came loose right here from my braids, so so look. Yeah. Yeah, I had to stop it, so that was it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you got you. You, 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 you ain't even let him get to the side. Uh-huh. You said no. No, man, no. you gotta let him get fuzzy because you Jamaican. I'm gonna let him take it out. Let it fuzz up. Yeah, let him fuzz up, man. You ain't gotta go up. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. This shit itch, man. Oh, take it down, man. This shit itch, I'll be ready to take this shit loose. I'm old, man. You got well. <laughs> I got no time for no itchy ass head. No, you're right. <laughs> How long it took? Agitated, Crick. I'd be like, man, I'm gonna take this shit up. How long it took? Yeah. About 30 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
I'm going to let it stay black two days and I'm going to take it out. Okay. Wagwan. No. Bullet. Wagwan. Bullet. That's the Farayan. Well. Ras Club. I hope y'all looking forward to 2021. Here it comes. Yes, sir. Because 85 <laughs> South Show is. Shout out to J-O-N. Yeah. 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 J-O-N. Yeah. Shout out to Cat. Yeah. 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 Goddamn. Everybody. Everybody. And Everybody. Everybody. And Chad. Craig. Ooh. And Taylor and Ash. And what's your name? Yeah. Sky. Sky. Yeah. Oh, Chad over there sleep. That's everybody? Thad. Thad. What's up, Thad? Yeah, we Thad. Thad. Thad, man. That nigga graduated. Hey, hey what's happening? Congrats, fool. Where you graduated from? from? Graduation. Georgia, Georgia State. State. What's, what's your major was? Film. Film. Hey. That's what's yeah. up, man. Don't. So you, you came here to get a job, my boy? That what's up? Yeah, nigga graduated, came what? straight over here. You know you could have got hired without graduating. What? No, I'm saying you could have got hired over here without graduating. You know him from school. Hell no, nah, nigga. When you graduate? Huh? You went to school with him? Nah. I'm just saying he graduated and came straight over here. Nah, he was here then graduated. Right. Yeah. See how that worked? Yeah, we helped him get out of school. <laughs> see how she come back around for you? Yeah, we helped him get out of school. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you dig me? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, Congratulations, man. brother. Yeah, man. I'm going back to school too, 2021. You are? For what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to decide what school I'm going to go to in 2021, but I'm going to enroll 2022. Man, when you say this, a lot of people going to hit you and be like, bro, <laughs> I work in the admissions hey. office. No. Huh? People going to hit no. you and be like, I work in the admissions office, man. I can get you in here. I don't want the honorary degree, though. I don't you want wanna that. get a real That's one. what I want. That's all I want. I don't want that honorary degree. That's all I want. I don't want that. You I'll want that. I can't use that. You don't want nowhere. that? Yes, you, you can. can. They ain't going to look at you certified. Boy, yes, you Me can. and Clayton you English will take classes. some honorary degrees from we'll any university that's willing to uh, give us some. Me too. I'm just saying. Y'all just make me change my mind. We will show up and go to school for one day. Y'all want to give me some. But I want to go to school too. We'll go. We would go to one day of classes for an honorary degree. I go. Yo. I want to go to a historically black college, though. I went, man. It was I went too. Experience. I want to go to a private white institution that has an equestrian <laughs> club. He said what? Private white school with an equestrian club. <laughs> y'all school ain't shit if y'all don't have sports at every school. If y'all don't have a rugby team, you're Where's not, your real, polo you're team, not a real guys? white school. <laughs> <laughs> if the soccer team ain't the best shit at the school, you're not a real white school. <laughs> Lacrosse players get all the hoes. Exactly. I don't want no white school. Give me black. Field hockey. Shout out to all my niggas playing field hockey. They say Jim Brown was cold. He was. At that lacrosse. For shit. real? Yeah. He was trucking them. I'm glad he didn't play that. That was really football. Yeah. Well, folks, I hope you really enjoyed watching us talk shit all 2020. Hey. DC, you gonna leave me with anything? Hey, man, y'all stay tuned, man. More movies, more TV shows. Make sure y'all go get that. Album Fly Womack, you did what I'm saying. Yeah. Go grab yeah, you that. dropped a lot of fly ass music in 2020. Yeah, I, I, I had to talk about drops. Put man. it in go ahead and drop it you drop. Drop it by the name they drop. Go we get only all got tonight, baby. We only got, got tonight. We got in the morning. I be throwing my own parts in there when I, I sing. When every, I sing it, every niggas do. I got my own shit. I got a lot of shit going on. More tools and shit. You gotta feel it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely about to drop some comedy shit too. Really? By any means, man. go crazy. Yeah, let's yeah, just go. so we, just so I can go out there and test the waters and see what it's like to drop a project, a comedy project, direct right. to consumer, just to see what it do. Hand to hand, hand to hand. Win, win. It's a whole different vibe though, man, because I was doing this shit at a drive-in theater. Dropping shit there. We dropping that shit to 2020 over with. By the time. By the time you get to this when part, this drop, when this drop, by the time they get to this drop, part, we in the future. We drop it. Drop it from the future right now. Drop it. You in the time right now. So okay, it's look. So check this out. Right now, what you watching is what I told you that I was gonna be dropping. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like all the shit I've been saying. Now is the moment that happens. You get like, am I making sense to you? Yeah. Fuck it. The shit I've been telling you about is right now. We are mm -hmm. here. We there. Like Clayton said, from the future. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe you stayed down this long. And if you just now getting to this part, fuck you been. Yeah. By any means, watch it, get it, download it, direct to consumer. That means from me to you. 
Like, did nobody else touch it? The dope is uncut. Smoke with, smoke with this. I'm telling you, by any means. Yeah. And people asking yeah. why we why I chose the title by any means. Because right. it's the middle of a pandemic. And I was really ready to get back to telling some jokes in some kind of capacity. So we had the drive-in theater experience. People pulled up from right. all around. Right. And then it's just like I'm telling jokes on stage. They're in the car. So I'm like, can they hear me? But then I was like, once I realized that we had the shit set up and they can hear the shit in the car. It was gravy train from there. Right. Whole right. different experience, man. I want to do some more shit like that. Even Whatever's it, safe. Yeah, like soon as it get back hot. We so did go they back. beep or something at the like, end? You got to do it, bro. <laughs> what, is some over there for me? How many of them over there? How many over there? Excuse me, I'm, ch I'm cold a little bit. You know how a nigga talk when he cold? You been a goddamn <laughs> going that motherfucker. Nigga be outside with one hoodie on in the winter. Swear he ain't cold. You straight, my boy? Yeah, I'm cool, my nigga. Ain't cool. You ain't got no coat. Hell no, nah, my boy. I'm straight. I'm cool, boy. I'm cool. 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 i am cool 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 i am
you get your old goddamn. See, when you you confuse people when you say shit like that. Traveling. You say, I got a few more things I need to do by myself. Like what? Fuck some hoes? No. Live some it more life. To be I'm Teddy. Maybe a nigga want to hold a sloth in the <laughs> rainforest, man. Maybe a nigga want to zip Maybe line. a nigga want to see the rainforest. And been wanting to see it. And you don't want to see it with nobody else. You just want to see that. Sh- you got to see that shit first. Cause you said you was gonna do it, and yeah. when you had the vision of seeing it, wasn't nobody else there. And this nope. music is inspirational right here. It's this, not. This, this shit make me want. Yeah, this, this shit, shit make me want to build a BMX bike <laughs> and beat my crosstown rival. <laughs> I want to fight. <laughs> this is the part where the words come in. Heart on fire, no one can change it. You can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> Live your life on the edge, my friend. Another level we're gonna go to. That's it right now. If you put your life on the line and make it worth a sacrifice and got to take it to another. There's gonna be some weird shit that come out of nowhere. <sighs> we killed Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, I said we killed Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> we killed Santa Claus. Santa Claus was a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> we killed Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, man. No kiss for oh. you, no kiss for you. But just like my boy said, man, we got movies, DVDs, comedy shit coming Come on, in. Man, more than a little we got bit. some more dope ass apparel. People been fucking with this shirt, trying to figure out where they can get it. We don't, we don't even know if we're going to sell y'all this shirt, man. I'm telling Who want the shirt? Man, I, man a lot of motherfuckers hit me Who about this shirt, man. They don't, the never, shirt. they don't never ask y'all the annoying shit they ask me. I'm about to stop talking to everybody. <sighs> Talk to them. Nah, man, they be asking me too. That's your job. Is it? Ain't it? Is it? It's not. (laughs) But is it, man? Why it ain't? Because it's strange, bro. I be seeing strange shit. This girl sent me a tweet. She said, I woke up this morning and I was thinking. Y'all should y'all should get J. Cole on the show. I'm saying, so that was your thought this morning when you woke up. That was it? That was all you was thinking about. You ain't thinking about nothing else? Nothing else. J. Cole. J. Cole. We need to get him on the show, too. <laughs> she woke him up and thought that shit. We got to get J. Cole. It's a long list There's of people a lot we got to get. We, we got to get, boo. Y'all ain't got to do shit. The dope shit is that you able to do shit. Right. Because you ain't had to do shit, and it made it more fuck withable. That's what I done noticed. People fuck with it because it was the one place they could actually go. Right. right. In 2020, we don't know where to go. People ain't realized that, and that was the sleeper. That was the keeper. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm about to start bringing everybody to the trap. Me too. Why not? I'm bringing my brother up here. Bring him. The one to play the drum? Brother. Yeah. Please do. I'm bringing the brother. Man, I just want set? y'all to listen. He ain't got no teeth. Can we bring some drums for him though? Oh, he'll go crazy. Yeah. He'll just kill them bitches. Yeah, we're going to That break. shit muscle memory. He ain't... <laughs> no we're going to set do the drums up. Do that so he can up. find a job. Hey, man, we're going to set the drums up right here. He'll go stupid. <laughs> He if y'all want some drugs, he yeah. gonna say all this shit. Man, you remember I used to work uh, for Earth, Wind, and Fire? I used to be the Fire. <laughs> I'm like, man, you was never on fire. You was smoking fire. You were on fire. For some reason, I feel like that'd be one of the best episodes. Please bring your crack here, bro. I'm gonna bring him. A nigga and down the street. A nigga down the street. You know who I want to bring on the show? <laughs> Everybody ain't even gonna know who I'm talking about, Ooh. but the motherfuckers who know gonna know. I want to get South Park shouty on this bitch. For real. You know who we got to do? You know who we got to bring on this show? Who? We going to have to fly him out. Who? Boy, this shit will break the fucking, it'll go crazy. Who? Wheelchair man. You want to bring <laughs> wheelchair man through this bitch? Wheelchair going to got that roll in here. Yo, motherfucker, fuck out of me. <laughs> Sit your ass down, But we wheelchair. didn't, though. He think we did. But we we fuck did. with you, wheelchair man. man. He think y'all don't fuck with him? I don't know. 
Girl, he always beef with them. <laughs> he stay beef with him. <laughs> Carlos and Chico. Always. Always. I said, but wheelchair man, he going to be with y'all lad, man. Oh, man. That done made wheelchair man get out here wheelchair. I said, that's how bad he was. I seen it. That boy crazy. He done did it before, though. He done did that before. We got to bring wheelchair man to the we show. We got to bring wheelchair man. He Just actually so he was faster shit. out the chair. That was the scary part. <laughs> that's the shit. <laughs> Me we gotta shirt. bring wheelchair man to the show. <laughs> All right, man, it we gotta get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> 2021, ain't no telling who you gonna see on this bitch. Yeah. Happy New Year! Fuck you, man. By any means. Be 2021. Safe and we done. Oh, oh man, don't back. break that. We out. Look, I got long ass crab outside here. Bro, I got a fucking flight early as shit. Mm, far away from Orlando. You got oh, Orlando. You, right you bringing in the new year? Yep. My guy Ralphie. How you doing, brother? Man, man. What's up, man? Good to be here with you. Thanks so much. No, man, we really appreciate you jumping on here talking to, to the you know the real one. All right. All right, cool guys. So, uh, what's up, Red man? We excited to have you, man. I appreciate you to you you doing this with us. Our audience needs you, brother. We gotta win this race, man. Thanks for for having me. Yep. So, so this is Carlos Miller of the Eighty Five South Show. This is also Chico Bean. Uh, our third member, Fly, he just had a, a, a newborn, man. So he's going through that right now. So we're going to be our two guys. Um, and y'all are good to start whenever y'all are ready, guys. He ain't getting no sleep. Right. Nah, exactly. none at all. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. We got a very special guest. Hey, hey Los, let me, let, me, let, me, let, 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 let me cut you two seconds. I apologize. Brother Fly just joined. So we good. Let's start over from okay, there. Babe. Yep. The, the new daddy's in the house. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Where is it? Fly, Fly, can you hear us? What's up, man? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? All right, Los, whenever y'all good to go. Hey, Jay, me and you, Los. It, it, me and you uh, and Chico. Yeah, Chico's on, and then Rev Warnock's on, Fly. Uh, just hit him up. All right, welcome back, man. We got a very special guest in here with us today. We got Reverend Raphael Warnock. Good to be hey, here with you. <laughs> Thank you for joining the 85 South Show so we can get this campaign going, man. I think you got one of the funniest political commercials <laughs> out right now. <laughs> when you walk your dog, I don't know who wrote that, man, but the comedian in me loves that commercial, man. Most so. definitely. Yeah, you had a fan before you even before you even jumped on. I was, I'm definitely voting for Buddy, man. <laughs> well, it's good to be here with you. Uh, look, this is an important moment in our country, and uh, it's a drama being played out in Georgia. Who would have imagined that when the dust settled on November third, uh, there would be two runoffs in the country, and both would be in Georgia. Uh, and that these two races would define and decide the balance of the Senate and thus the direction of the country, the work that we're able to do in the coming months and years, whether we'll be able to make progress on health care, on jobs, on justice, on voting rights, uh, on criminal justice reform, a whole range of issues. And um, I'm, I'm deeply honored to be running. You know, as a kid Let me ask you this. Yes. My first question, though, is like, as a black man, what what makes you want to be in the Senate? Oh, listen, I love our well, I, I I love our country, and I am an example and an iteration of the American dream. You're looking at somebody who uh, grew up in public housing. I was one of twelve children in my family. I'm number eleven. Clearly, my folks read that verse that says, "Be fruitful and multiply." <laughs> I'm um, the first college graduate in my family. I got there through grit, hard work, and determination. But that alone doesn't put me in the seat now. Pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church, Dr. King, served now running for high federal office. 
How did I get there? Through personal responsibility, hard work, and grit. But also somebody gave me some Pell Grants. There you somebody go. Gave me some low interest student loans. In other words, I had a path to a more prosperous and productive life. I'm running now because it's harder for kids growing up and their families in, in situations in neighborhoods like the one I grew up in. It's harder now for kids uh, than it was for me. And so yes, I want to create opportunity. You, um, I've been hearing a lot of a lot of talk about student loan forgiveness. Do you think that is real, or is that just a talking point that's hot at the moment? We absolutely have got to get student loan uh, student debt under control in this country. Um, uh, I, I said I I would not be sitting here. You know, I, I often say I went to Morehouse College on a full faith scholarship. Uh, that, that that means I didn't have enough money for the first semester. I but I, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be at Dr. King's school where he went. And uh, I was able to graduate through Pell Grants and low interest student loans. And when I came out of school, unlike uh, kids today, uh, after four degrees, I earned two other master's degrees and a PhD. I didn't have the kind of mounting debt that kids have now. I had some, but not like what they're carrying now. Our, our young people have a mortgage before they have a mortgage. Right. Uh, um, and so, and that's a drag, not just on them personally, it's a drag on the economy. I think part of the path to stimulating our economy is, is we've got to address the mounting student loan debt, which has now surpassed credit card debt and auto loans. We can do better than that. It's not, it's not an act of charity. I think it's an act of common sense to get student debt under control. And it's something I will absolutely be committed to in the Senate. Mm -hmm. I had a question following that. Uh, I went to an HBCU and also had a bunch of student loan debt. So my question to you is, if you are to win, do you feel it's important to, you know, direct young kids to get that type of debt? Or do you think that it's more important to instill programming and, and, and different types of options for children to be able to come out of high school or, or you know, wherever they want to go to be able to have something that that offsets them having to go into hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to get an education that's not guaranteeing jobs these days. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I, I said I'm I'm a product of Pell Grants and low interest student loans. And so part of what I'm committed to doing as a United States Senate is strengthening our Pell Grant program so that kids would have less debt. Uh, and then at the same time, you mentioned HBCUs. I'm an HBCU graduate as well. And we've got an HBCU graduate uh, now who, after John and uh, John Ossoff and I are elected to the Senate, Kamala Harris, graduate of Howard University, will be the deciding vote on a number of these issues. Uh, we've got to strengthen our HBCUs uh, and our small community colleges because they are the pipeline that creates opportunity, uh, especially for young people uh, coming from struggling and working class families. Why do you think that younger voters aren't interested in political election? Why I, I think that's, I, I honestly think that's a myth. We, we saw record uh, youth turnout uh, here in Georgia uh, for this election. Uh, people are very focused on the issue. And I think I think that young people get a bad rap, honestly. I think young people vote actually the way everybody else votes. Young, young people, people in general, voters don't vote for politicians. They vote for themselves. They have to hear their own story and their own issues in the conversation. And if you're not if you're not talking about me, then 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 maybe I won't answer. So you need to be talking about me. And so I'm, I'm saying to the young voters all across Georgia that I know what it's like uh, to grow up in the hood, if you will. Right. I know what it's I'm, I'm also a Head Start baby, where, where you're working with kids when preschool age and, and, and stimulating their little brains at that point where your brain is growing and developing. I'm a product of Upward Bound, which is a program that gets high school students who would be the first college graduate in their family ready to go to college. All of those are federal programs. I'm the beneficiary of it. And now 
I'm getting uh, in the U.S. Senate, I would get a chance to craft federal policy. And so what we've got to do is we've got to talk about the things that young people care about. I think they want opportunity. They want we got to get the student debt crisis under control. Um, uh, it may seem like a strange thing for pastor to say we got to we got to decriminalize cannabis. And uh, uh, because I, I, I come from communities where the enforcement has done as much, if not more, damage to those communities, decimating and devastating those communities uh, than the drug itself. We've got to deal with criminal justice reform in this country. What, uh, we gonna ask you, what, does that, what does that mean to you, criminal justice reform? Like, we, uh, we understand the criminal, justice, the criminal justice reform, but we're trying to get, we're trying to get like before that, so the, like to keep the cops out of our neighborhoods so we don't need criminal justice reform. We're trying to stay away from the system altogether. Well, you say like we, like we're in a system that targets us as black men, as black people, black and brown people. So before we even get to criminal justice reform, I feel like something needs to happen before you're actually in the criminal justice system. Well, I'm a product of the things that need to happen before you're in the system. Exactly, that's my right. point. Right. So, so I I I agree that we we need fewer prisons and more preschools. We need to create opportunity. Uh, the United States of America is 4% of the world's population. We warehouse 25% of the world's prisoners. No other nation comes close, not even close to the number of people we have in prison, the percentage of our population that's in prison. We've got a greater percentage of black people in prison than did South Africa at the height of apartheid. And much of this is driven by the so-called war on drugs that too often has been a war on black and brown communities. Uh, most of these folk are, 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 many of these folk are there for nonviolent drug related offenses. And, um, you know, people are talking about that now that we're dealing with an opioid crisis where we're seeing the same kind of thing that played out with crack and black and brown communities in the 80s and the 90s. Now we're seeing this opioid epidemic in largely white rural and suburban areas. This is why we've got to build a multiracial coalition committed to ending mass incarceration and uh, reimagining uh, the kind of society, the kind of great society that we can, we can actually create. And I think we saw a glimpse of that this summer in the wake of the tragic deaths of George Floyd, Rayshard Brooks, Breonna Taylor, we saw a multiracial coalition of conscience pouring out into our American streets, saying that we can do better than this. We've got to channel that energy to the ballot box and then from the ballot box uh, to engagement and activism in the days ahead. Um, what are you I doing? You. I want to add, add me. I got uh, one, I'll add with you. What are you okay. doing to ensure that you're just not another another face that looks like us that gets elected that forgets about the people that elected us? Because I'm 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 a free man, you know. I best answer. I, I I'm not, you know. I'm running for high federal office, but I say honestly, I'm not in love with politics. I'm in love with humanity. I'm in love with justice. And the reason why nothing gets done, and I share your frustration, nothing gets done so often, because what we've done is we've created a class of professional politicians. And their primary focus is making sure they get reelected. Of course, you know, if you serve in office, you want to get reelected. But we have a class of professional politicians who are so focused on the next election that they're not focused on the next generation. I think we've forgotten in the course of this that there is this great tradition also that's part of our of our American story. And that is that we are a citizen uh, democracy. We are a representative democracy. This idea that you send ordinary citizens, preachers, teachers, uh, business owners, uh, folks who run not for profits, folks who are actually connected into the community, you send citizens like you to represent you uh, in office. And we have it, we, we've been sending professional politicians. 
The politics has been about the politicians. And so nothing gets done. And then there's so much corruption that goes on that someone else owns the politics. And so I'm running for the US Senate, uh, but I'm still uh, a pastor. I'm someone who's connected to the community, the heartbeat of the community. And I am determined that uh, uh, I'm not gonna spend all of my time just talking to politicians for fear that I might actually become one. Mm. Uh, I intend to be a public servant. That's, that's the piggyback right off of what he said. I don't know if you can see in the background, but I got Marion Barry, a painting of Mary. I'm from Washington, DC. And this is, in my opinion, the greatest politician ever because of the things that he did for our community growing up. And one of the things that I loved about Marion Barry is that he actually made promises that he kept. So my question to you is a lot of times, you know, politicians, they, they like he said, say things and then forget about the people who elect them. But one of the things that I like to do is to have the people that I vote for give the people something that they're going to be able to know and guarantee is going to happen should you be elected because people have already voted. So you got to motivate them to get back out to the polls again. So what are you going to do for people well, specifically, something yeah. specific? that Reverend Warnock can guarantee the people who are going to go cast their ballot for him. Yeah. Run yeah, let me let me tell you, and I, I need the folks to, to hear me very clearly here. If 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 the concern is that nothing is, is going to happen, let me tell you what will guarantee that nothing happens. If we don't win these two Senate seats, absolutely nothing will happen because Mitch McConnell will be in control of the Senate. He's a terrible person. And he will do to President Biden and Vice President Harris the same thing he did to President Obama. Uh, he will engage in a shameless campaign of obstruction. Of obstruction. Uh, they're folk talking about divided government. It won't be divided government. It will be paralyzed government, dysfunctional government. They will block everything that we try to do. And so if people are concerned that nothing is going to happen, the best response to that is to get back out and vote in this runoff. Because, because if, if we don't win these Senate seats, absolutely nothing will happen. You can be certain of that. Um, but if I win this seat and John Ossoff wins his seat, we will be 50-50, which means effectively we will control the Senate. Kamala Harris, a great graduate of an HBCU, Howard University, you all make a mark of that. A Morehouse man said something nice about Howard, I think, twice on this podcast. Exactly. Uh, she'll be she'll be the deciding vote. And what that means is, number one, we can get this virus under control, stop playing games, have a national coordinated strategy. It is disproportionately killing black and brown communities. We can get COVID relief that centers the pain and the concerns of workers and small businesses. We can get this vaccine distributed safely and efficiently. It, it means that we can make sure that we strengthen the Affordable Care Act rather than trying to destroy the Affordable Care Act, which is what they want to do. I mean, they've, they've literally had, had dozens of votes to destroy the Affordable Care Act. And uh, it means that people with pre-existing conditions, and here's one of those words you hear in politics, pre-existing conditions, pre-existing conditions. What are we talking about? I'm talking about your auntie who has diabetes. I'm talking about you or the person in your family who has hypertension. I'm talking about the person who is a cancer survivor or a COVID survivor. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the young person, the child who has asthma. All of those are pre-existing conditions. And uh, if they have their way, the insurance companies would absolutely be able to deny you coverage. And so your health care is on the ballot. COVID relief is on the ballot. Jobs are on the ballot. We keep calling the folks we've been ignoring and diminishing essential workers. We ought to pay them an essential wage, right. provide them essential benefits. And voting rights finally is on the ballot. Um, you know, we they passed the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act in the House, and it's important because the Supreme Court gutted uh, Section Four of the Voting Rights Act in 2013, told the Congress to fix it, 
They finally passed something in the House on 2019. But where is that sitting right now? It's sitting in a graveyard called Mitch McConnell's desk. He won't even put it up for a vote. Even as he was praising John Lewis after he died, uh, he is literally trying to kill the man's life's work. Send us to the Senate. Give us the majority we need so that we can get progress on health care, on jobs, on justice. Man, that's dope. <laughs> i tell you one thing. You got one of the dopest names I've ever heard in my life, Warnock. <laughs> Yeah, and I love how like, you leave the Reverend on there. I know Reverend Warnock. That sounds like an Xbox game. Like you, <laughs> you got one of the dopest names. I, you know, it just that sounds amazing. You know, what I mean, when I heard it, I was like Warnock. That sounds like somebody don't play no games. So hopefully, no, we, you know, the, this will help people get you know motivated to get back out to the polls because I know it's probably a, a, a very difficult task to get people to get back out and vote after all of the you know, the, the stress and strain of this previous election. So hopefully this will help people and motivate people to get back out to the polls and help Reverend Warnock get in the Senate because I've- Because I've let me ask him something. You know, I'm a, I'm a Reverend too. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. He also is a Reverend. Yeah, you know, I'm an well, ordained minister myself. No, I so I wanted to ask you, how's everything over there at Ebenezer Baptist? Uh, is there anything coming up in the community? You know, that's a historically black church. So we want to make sure that you got everything you need as far as community resources over there. Whatever you got going on with your campaign, is there anything coming up around, you know, the church community over there? You know, as oh, far I, as with the I, I election and all that. Well, you can go to the church's website. There's always something going on at Ebenezer. Right. And um, look, we're the spiritual home of Martin Luther King Jr. and John Lewis. But we have never rested on the laurels of our historic achievement. We're not one of those churches that's, you know, always glad to say we're a historic church. Question is, what are you going to do with all of that power? People know who you are because of the work of Dr. King. The question that I've always asked myself, and I've been there 15 years now, is what are you going to do with it? And so we've tried to use that influence to push on health care reform. Uh, to, to make sure we have affordable health care. My church uh, raises money to bail poor people out of jail uh, who are there not because they're dangerous, but because they can't afford the, the bail money. Uh, we've been pushing on, on bail reform. Um, we had the first one-stop shop where we were expunging the criminal arrest records of people who've been arrested, never been convicted of anything, but they can't get housing, can't get a job because they have an arrest record. This is the work that I've been doing. We built a community center at the in in the height of the recession. I was so proud because Ebenezer might be a famous church, but we're not a rich church. I wish we had the money to go along with our historic renown. We would we'd have resources uh, enough to do anything, but we don't. Uh, but with the resources we have and with our partners, I was so proud that we had cranes going up in the air building a community center, multi-million dollar community center in the middle of the Great Recession. And in that center, we put a job center. We put a financial literacy center that uh, whose job it was to teach people uh, how to improve their credit, uh, how to move from being renters to homeowners, and how to start a business. This is the work that we do. We registered voters. Uh, we do it on Sunday morning. And so my run for the Senate is a continuation of my life commitment to work. I've never thought that my influence stops at the church door. That's where it starts. And that's why I'm running for the U.S. Senate. Man, that is beautiful. I love to hear that because I always say that there's not enough programs in our communities that give guys who are influential motivation to stay out of the trouble that got them, you know, put in jail and put in prison and all of that. So if you've already done that, I can just say that, you know, I hope people see this and, and get out and vote for you because we need a whole lot more of that all across, not just Georgia, but this whole country, man. So salute to yes. you for setting that example. Yes. Reverend Warnock. Reverend. <laughs> and just hey, we know, gotta ask you this. Out, Reverend Warnock, we got to, we, me and Carlos going to write you a, 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 a bail bondsman show. And that's gonna be the dopest show on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Biblical Bell Bonds by Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Raphael Warnock. And you I, I like it. Clean up churches that, that ain't doing right. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you about this since you come from a, a huge family of 12 kids. 
uh, is there anything specific in your platform for the black families or single mothers or, you know, people, I want to say like non-conventional households. That's what I, I think that may be the best way to put it. It's like, what's, what's in your platform that's going to be able to help some of these families that are struggling through times right now? Well, I mean, mine is a public policy focus that centers the concerns of ordinary people, working families. And that includes families led, you know, that, that uh, where you've got single parents, um, all kinds of families. And uh, I mean, that's what I've tried to do as a pastor. Uh, that's what I'll do in the, in the U.S. Senate. Um, we've got to provide people part of the infrastructure that we need to build. And so one of the things that we didn't talk about, and, and maybe I'll come back and, and talk about it on another occasion, is our need for investment in the infrastructure of our country. Mm. That we need to repair our bridges, roads, we need high speed rail, we need green infrastructure, green jobs with, uh, uh, that focus on, on green energy. Uh, but part of the infrastructure that we need to build also is child care infrastructure. Uh, you know, Sad news for all of us on this podcast. We will, we might think we're pretty smart. We'll never be as brilliant as we were between the ages of zero and four. Mm. That's really when it's happening. Your brain is literally growing. And the science shows that if you, the parts of the brain that you don't engage during that time actually atrophy. So your life is being set in ways that are just, that are formative between the ages of zero and four. And so, as a Head Start baby, another good federal program, you know, I, it's so important that we provide childcare infrastructure so that while parents are going to work, going to school, their kids are not simply being left with a babysitter, but being left where in a place and with, with well-trained, well-paid professionals who are making sure that they're, those neurons while they're firing, when you can really learn language and languages that, that, that they're being engaged verbally and otherwise. Uh, that's how you answer the issue around our massive, that's part of the answer to our massive criminal, uh, uh, our, our massive carceral uh, uh, system. Uh, part of what we gotta do is we gotta invest on those kinds of things on the front end, rather than trying to repair people on the back end. Mm. That's good. Well, Reverend Warnock, I really, really appreciate you coming on. I know, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's early for a lot of folks, but you're already up doing the work that's necessary, man. So salute to you for that. And uh, like I said, I hope this really helps motivate people to get back out in the polls and, and get this done because this is, you know, a pivotal point. You know what I mean? It's like all eyes are on Georgia right now. It's amazing. So you know what I mean? I hope that this helps the people understand the importance of getting out and, and voting again and getting you and, and what did you say the gentleman's name was? Oslo? Yeah. John Ossoff. John Ossoff. John Ossoff. Yeah, to get, getting you guys uh, in the Senate so uh, we can really get some things done. And, and, you know, it doesn't look like you have a problem with being held accountable, man. So that's very, you know, motivational for young guys like us who, uh, you know, need that type of motivation. So of course I don't have, look, man, I'm, I'm the pastor of, of, of a Baptist church. Of course I'm, I, I, I can be held accountable. I got a deacon board. You have a deacon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The first mother's going to ask some hard questions. Yeah, I yeah. Know, the, right? the mother, I'm talking about the mother's board. That, that's even more. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, uh, Rev, I just want to make sure that you drop all your, like, all your platforms where people can catch up with you and, and be a part of this movement. And like, is there any way they can contact you via Facebook or social media or website or, you know, what's the yes. best way to keep up with what right. you have going on? Glad you asked. Please go to warnockforgeorgia.com. Warnockforgeorgia.com. You can give, you can volunteer, and you don't even have to leave your state. If you don't live in Georgia, you can still volunteer for my campaign. You know, everybody's asking, you know, there are a lot of folks who are excited, about, and I'm glad about what's going on in Georgia, and they want to come right. here. We're not encouraging a lot of people to come here in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. We've got boots on the ground, but you can volunteer digitally. So if you're thinking about taking that Gladys Night Midnight train to Georgia, take a virtual train. 
to Georgia, go to my website and there you can volunteer right from where you are. And you can uh, text and send postcards to the people in Georgia, reminding them that early voting starts December 14th and election day is January 5th. Well, just know we will always extend our platform to you, whatever you have going on. We look forward to working with you on some of these community projects in the future. Yes, Definitely going to stop by Ebenezer Baptist Church and get For into the job go center. One Sunday, yeah, exactly. Go there, whatever we can do, even outside of this election and runoff, man, I just feel like you, you're one of those brothers that definitely have a, a head, a level head on the shoulder that's doing good work in the community. And we will definitely be reaching out to do some more things in the future. Great. Come on by. Keep the faith, everybody. <laughs> All right, man. Thank, Thank you. you. We Reverend appreciate Warnock. it. Reverend Warnock. Reverend <laughs> Warnock. Thanks, man. All right, y'all. Let me uh, reset. And actually, the Breakfast Club is probably about 45 minutes, but y'all killed that, man. 45 minutes? I no, I'm sorry. It starts at 9.45, so I like, I'm, okay. I said that wrong. I apologize. So let me find a link. That might be a separate link. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Did you send it? You probably got to go out of it.